Welcome to Utopia, please make yourself at home. It's the only place on earth where you can bitch and moan. There's something here for everyone to make you feel quite great. Just as long as we've already let it through our gates. This is our dreamland, this is Utopia. Yet another little podcast for you. This is our dreamland, this is Utopia. It's where we discuss the little things and make them better for you. This is our dreamland, this is Utopia. You've got a pet me. We'll kick it out for you. It's a wonderful and magical and positively colourful. It's our cheeky show. By now you know the Utopia Project. Roll up, roll up, and welcome to the Utopia Project. The Utopia Project is a show where we take all that is good and go, we like a bit of that. We're going to have that in our little planet. And it's also where we go, that's bad. Oh, no, that's minging, go away. I'm a Chunky T, I'm a Chunky T, and I'm joined each and every week by Jack Magic! Hello, Free Bombs Jack, as they call it. Yeah, man. <coughs> Sorry, just drowning there. How are you, dude? You're my mate. Not bad, my mate. You're my mate. I'm all right, my mate. Marvellous. I'm also joined each and every week by the Permanent Shopping! Oh, you fucking prick. Uh, I did <laughs> cash yeah, monies, mate. cash monies, Hadouken. Punch in the face. <laughs> Did you with a nasty, okay. nasty sound? Get out, SS a nasty, nasty sound. Nasty sound. How are we doing, you? boys? I'm pretty not good. Bad, not bad. Good. Pretty good. I had that... someone in the shop today that brought up the other episode when you just kept introducing Sharpie. Yeah, and you it, well, man. We did have a good idea where basically we should spend the whole episode just introducing Sharpie, <laughs> just over and over again. <laughs> Obviously, mid talking, we're having a Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about that. I'm here. I'm here. Let's go. And we also join each every week. Bye. The Pepper Shoppy. <laughs> Fucking silly. I knew that was coming. But I still like the surprise. It was yeah. great. Yeah. Fucking hell. Are you uh, living the dream? Always living the dream, yeah. yeah. Fucking living the dream, doing the things, fucking win the points. I'm glad Christmas is over now, though. Yeah. I'm glad um, to be a bit of a normal Yeah. 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 Like, peopled out. Yeah. Realise that. Going back to work, I'm like, this is a bit of me, this. This work yeah. stuff. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm back to normal. Are you actually? Yeah. Or are you a bit weary? Uh, I mean, this week's been pretty heavy. Just because of, like, my sleeping pants fucked because Christmas. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've been going to bed at like two in the morning and then getting up at 10. So now getting up at seven and going to bed at 10 is now my body clock's just like, BAH! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One more time, what's it like? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. I think for me, it's not it's not the, the, the routine change in that retrospect because they don't let me have time off. But uh, it's more the what I've realised. It's like, I like Christmas and all that, but it's the over fucking over exaggerated like thing of Christmas where everything's like it's fucking festive music ah, everything's massive and that gives me an headache so yeah. like that. it's weird I still feel like we're in the Christmas gooch but I don't think we are no but the thing is that when, when this episode goes out we'll be well out of it as well oh yeah, yeah. Um, that's that it's uh, that weird sort of I think because Christmas and New Year was like Mondays, mm. you don't get that buffer either side mm. of like starting a new week. Everyone's yeah. gone back on Wednesday or yeah, yeah. Tuesday, and you're just like, it's not a full week. Mm. Which is nice to have that ramp up, but yeah. Have we got a sponsor? Uh, yes. What can I? Yeah, go on. This week, the Utopia Project is brought to you by Snacksidents Cookie Dough Delivery. You can't fucking, it's a real product, man. <laughs> right, the Utopia Project, right, fucking, the Utopia Project this week is sponsored by Snacksidents Cookie Dough Delivery. And what that is, is a fucking delivery service for shitty cookie dough that's too expensive and made me feel like I had fucking, I was going to die because of diabetes. Yeah. I don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of you now. <laughs> oh, you want to fucking buy shit with these sponsors, buy this, buy that. It's fucking load of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> stop, stop, stop getting people to fucking be fucking gullible little cunt like you <laughs> fucking buying products because I did it with snack accidents so I was a little snack accident accident was it no it fucking wasn't I did it on purpose they made me do it on purpose and they did fucking rumour diabetes innit <laughs> it tastes like shit <laughs> do I have like just fucking you made him mad now Jack. pull yeah, your big boy pants up boom big boy <laughs> pants up pull them up and if you've got an advert going on don't get taken in by the colours and shit just turn around this is an advert that yeah. just says 
Stop buying shit from adverts. Save yeah. your fucking money. Anyway, got vintage four quid t shirt. Anyway, Isn't here's that? an advert for our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're not all about other shit. Like, I'm all about other shit. Our shit's fucking good. Buy that. <laughs> Don't buy no snacks in it. It's 36 quid. You know, you can get yourself a t shirt off of our fucking Utopia Project page. You can get yourself a fucking little Patreon. You can get all sexy with that. <laughs> you can get can't a t shirt off our little Patreon. Off our little Patreon. <laughs> you really fucking want You don't mate. know the information. I know the information. <laughs> Boom. There he is. <laughs> he is the information station. Yeah. Now fucking talk shit out. What? Exactly. <laughs> Are you doing a website and a discount code for that? No, because you shouldn't no, be It's a real it. product. You can't throw him. It's a fine. Product. I'm not <laughs> going to give more information for them to go buy a product when the no, sponsors make are own, not uh, buying the product. Get, the don't, buy, don't buy this shit.com. The idea of our show is to, yeah. to get paid from the real sponsors. Yeah. And then the, the made up ones, we just make up. We don't just go, oh, the made up one is the real one. No. <laughs> Do a real one. <laughs> Why? Because then it can moan about it. Yeah, I guess there is that. Nah, no, fucking cook no shit, man. Fucking, to tell you what, www. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 we can only talk to producers now because I think the sound card ain't working properly, but it, I don't know. Press your button, Tal. No, that's the sponsor button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just dancing in the corner like a little git. Pet peeves? Pet peeves? Pet peeves? I do have a pet peeve, actually. Yeah. Phenoxy Methyl Penicillin. Oh, that's my favourite. I think that's how you pronounce it. Penicillin, Antib- antibiotics. Yeah. I'm on someone the minute that I robbed off Amy. <laughs> right. Not just for lols. So Amy got tonsillitis. She got prescribed penicillin. She did classic Amy. She had four of those pills and then said, "I'm not having them no more." And then spent a week going. You my do throat that hurts. With antibiotics. I tried She's saying this. The course. No, I tried run saying the this. Course. She ain't gonna do it. But it worked in my favour. Because two weeks later, I got tonsillitis. From so I was kissing. like, giz all them pills. <laughs> Did you? So I've been having her pills. But that's what the, I've had, it, you, as you know, I've had yeah. tonsillitis countless fucking times. Oh, yeah. And now you yeah. can't get pregnant. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So every time I go, they prescribe me that. So I was like, well, fuck it, I'll just take yours. It's fine. And touch wood, I haven't had it in ages. So this is the first time I've had it in a long time. And it, has, it hasn't actually been that bad, really. You've got full course, though. You've only got the remnants. I've got three quarters of a course, which will do me. Oh, fair enough. Um, but I suppose if you just say at the beginning, this is the course. Yeah, you got to kid yourself, <laughs> Yeah. Mm. You're lying, then, aren't you? That's you the course go, I got. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Um, I'm allergic to penicillin. Oh, yeah. yeah. So is he. Yeah. I had a rash. No, I'm not actually allergic to penicillin. I'm allergic to, like, a form of penicillin. Oh, right, okay. Actual penicillin I'm all right with. It's just some sort of derivative oh, right, weird okay. thing. It makes my head go big. In depth. Yeah. It says that on my thing, though. It says, allergic penicillin. Oh, nice. I thought that was because of your diabetes. No, that's, um, if anything... Well, it's for, if I oh, have a fucking collapseness. Or collapseness. <laughs> collapseness. collapseness. Yeah. People are like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I can't talk to you right now. I'm busy. Um, and then they have a look at this, and then it says what I Everybody can knows, if you yeah. fall unconscious, call 999. Yeah, yeah. For, what's the paramedic going to do? Go, oh, he's having a fit, oh, what's going on? Quick, give him some penicillin tablets. Surely that doesn't work. No, they yeah, can, if you're they've got a fluid. you in any form mm. and need to issue medication, if there's penicillin in that medication, right? Well, they sneak it in, like, secret. Well, they do, they, they sneak can it put, in by put it on by, like, drips and shit. You yeah, might, you might don't be have required to, be awake. to have it for multiple different things. I don't know what that will uh, be. Oh, yeah, because I suppose it if you're, helps. If you're in a coma and you get an infection, they still need to put antibiotics into your system. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fucking do that. To me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so that um, goes, don't do that, thanks. Yeah, I have aminox, amoxicillin. Amoxicillin. Something like that. I yeah. had that first and then they changed me over. Usually. I think I need to get them to change it again when next time I do get it because it fucking. Oh, the stomach cramps are real. Is it? Really fucking hurts. Yeah, it's a difficult one because it is the cure, but also the cause of a lot of my problems. Mm. And it does my fucking not. Well, stomach cramps or yeah. penicillin? Pen- <laughs> the penicillin. <laughs> right, yeah. The penicillin causes <laughs> stomach cramps for me, personally. Yeah. I don't think it happens to everyone. I don't know who it Are happens to. Are you just doing secret abs and you haven't told yourself? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's how you get abs, I don't want it because it fucking hurts. Yeah. It feels like your stomach is a washing machine. 
Oh, is it like being? Well, at least you get to Washington. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hungover belly, or is it like? No, you don't like feel sick or so. I did feel sick the other day, but I don't think that was because of the. That was probably because I was having antibiotics and I didn't feel very well. And then I went and ate about ten cheese and crackers. <laughs> There's nothing about cheese and crackers and penicillin though. It's all oh, about you supposed like, to eat alcohol and no, 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 but you, time, yeah, yeah, it's annoying as fuck, man. You have to have them. Four, two tablets four times a day but you have to have them one hour before food or two hours after wow. right so like now I have them it works quite well because I have them at 8, 12, 4 and supposed to be 8 but obviously I usually have my tea about 7 so now I can't have them until well I want to eat 7, 8, 9 so I can't have them until like 9 o'clock now you but then it confuses eat. me because I'm like, well, four hours. But it's not four hours from when I ate. It's from because last night I thought I was fucking ODing, so I had to spit them out. And then I realised that. <laughs> and then I, I realised that I wasn't. It's going to cause too much issue, is it? <clears throat> but the stomach cramps hurt, so I don't want to double up on that shit. No. Um, but yeah, and then I thought I had. I thought I shouldn't be taking some, but it turns out I should, so I had two more. <laughs> yeah. So you just scooped up the ones you'd spat out. No, I forgot that. They was already in the sink. So um, he's, two, he's, done, yeah, he's two tablets down. How can on, you OD from something water, if you haven't swallowed it? If you're there and you stick them in your gums, you're like, I'm OD him, but take them out. No, he wasn't. No, like, I thought I'd already oh, had two. I'm overdosing. He's like, if I ingest these, then I'll that, probably have too I'll many. I'll have had them too soon. I'll spit soon. them out. <clears throat> Oh, I, I, mean, thought I'd, I thought I'd already like, taken oh some. You made, you made on the decision. verge of death. I th- no, I, th- I just thought... I, you, I, you turn on that decision. I got in my head. I was like, hang on a minute. I think I had some like two hours ago. <laughs> so I don't need to set these. And then I spat them out. And I was like, oh, no, I didn't have them two hours ago. I ate two hours ago. Why so you, I do need to... Why don't you just write down on your phone? Because why? When you can just... Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it keeps so, your mental brain good. So what do it? I do? Do I send that? Or do I just want to send the, the side effects thereof. Yeah? Yeah. I'm a bit shit, yeah. innit? Yeah. Let's say that's All say, pills yeah. are good pills. Oh, also, yeah. also, it might make you feel sick. Um, Thanks. When my tonsils <laughs> swelled up the other day, got a fucking big old hole in it, didn't I? Did you? Yeah? In one of my tonsils. I got a good picture, I'll show you. Oh what yeah, it's man. fucking gross. And then Amy the other day said she got white spots she on hers. A tooth out she there, pulled, didn't she? she pulled one out of hers, and that made me feel like I want to fucking kill myself. You pulled a white spot out of what? What the hell? What is going on? What do you mean? Yeah. It's a hole yeah. in it? Like hello? Like. Well, I've got, I've got a little <laughs> hole in one of my brain. tonsils. I got a good picture of it. Yeah, maybe that's why you're you getting tonsillitis. Yeah. No, well, it shows it. I'll show you after. Because there's yeah. an open wound in your mouth. Get well, that wound, wound closed I think, it was, I think what it was, was from where in. my tonsils swelled up, there was a bit that didn't. So it like sucked it in. It's, what? It's like a little divot. Like a, like a single like, hole. Like a fleshy Like someone had just, like, just stabbed it. Oh. It's fucking gross. I wanted to cut my own throat. You ever thought about getting them out? Yeah, I tried. They wouldn't let me. They don't do it. They don't do it anymore. You, know, at all ever. you have to no. get it like something like twelve times yeah, a year. You have to get it more than eight times a year. Yeah. I, I got it eight times a year, but one time I didn't. This is about five six years ago. Didn't have it recorded. Um, one time I didn't go to the doctors about it. I just bared it out because it wasn't terrible. Whereas mine, like my fucking throat swells up, yeah, yeah. barely breathe. Um, but uh, one time I was like, nah, I'll just grin and bear it for a week. It's not too bad. And then I went on the what was the eighth time, but they'd only got it recorded as the seventh time. And they was like, I was like, can you yeah, not take these out? Nice and healthy. Yeah. Right. I was like, can you not take these out? Because like, it's getting ridiculous now. And they was like, no, because you've only had it seven times. You need to have it more than eight times. They should, they should do I was it like, as a, uh, I didn't record one. They should do it as a... Uh, like, yeah, man, when, when, you, when, you, when you're born, mm. foreskin whipped off, tonsils whipped out, done. Yeah. Well, this is yeah, like, the umbilical cord. Tom's got a picture of tonsils here. Oh, yeah. Um, apparently, because uh, obviously the point of it is what they do, because they used to whip them out because it was causing people to have tonsillitis. Yeah. But obviously, tonsillitis is them, your tonsils catching the infection that would go into your body. Have you tried, like, not sucking off infections? Well, I tried, but I, f- I just love it too much. <laughs> it's not his favourite hobby. It's in his Instagram. I'm like, oh, flu, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Te- Get on my tonsil! <laughs> Did they take the uvula out as well? That's the wobbly thing, isn't it? I think so. The that's a vulva, isn't it? A uvula. No, the vulva's down there, mate. Yeah. Oh, big, no. Big fat pussy. That's <laughs> what a vulva is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 
pull pork? The pull, no, the pum pum. Oh, I thought you said the pull pork. No, the pull pork. The pull pork. I hope they'll come see your pull pork. He's got your pull pork. Boom! Let me get in that brisket, love. I'm back in Texas, baby. Yeah, the uvula. Yeah, when she said about, when Amy said about pulling them, the white things off of hers. I imagined it. It was. I have an image of you pulling a tooth out. You know the teeth wheels on Rocket League. Yeah. Like, it made me feel like that. How are you operating on that yourself? Like I don't know. I can I can't pull nothing off of that. She's got quite long nails, has not she? So she like said so she like picked that. Well, she see it. I like mean, that. I'd be like a shit cocksucker because anything touches even close to the back of my throat, I'm like. Ugh. Every time I try and brush my tongue, I'm like. Wah, 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 wah. Makes me gag like a foot. Tongue there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> brush my tongue. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. I'm not too bad. I don't fucking like. I know. Yeah. I've seen you do yeah. a hot dog. Yeah, I don't. I don't throw them until at least the fourth dick. <laughs> <laughs> but and that's only it. if it's really <laughs> sticky. <laughs> You make some money out of that, mate. I think. Oh, I can really look like that. at that. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so that's gone. That's gone. See you Get later. rid of that. Go Fuck on. right off. Yeah, um, yeah. I've got one little peeve, though, boys. We got. Um, it's kind of a menial one, but it's really done, done my head in. I've had a lot, a lot of obviously New Year, New Me, and all that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah sure, in, sure, Instagram's sure. Instagram's full of like, this is what you can do to be a new you, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I don't know. Thank I'll you. I'll be same old cunt. Yeah, I'll just be New Year, same prick. This bloke. <laughs> um, so. Have you done running before? You've heard about running? Yeah, I didn't like it. You heard about running? I heard about running. Like running races? You yeah, you do like, like 5Ks, can't you? Not like walking, but in um, fast Not motion, like the shit running down your leg. Like <laughs> running. <laughs> You're running. Not having yeah. the runs. Yeah. Um, you see, you have 10Ks, can't you? You can have yeah, half yeah. marathons, you can have marathons. Distances, you go. What do you do on them races? You run. What what, 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 like what would be the process? You were going to do a marathon. You do you'd this. you get in your car, wouldn't you? And then you do that one. You'd get in your car. Oh, yeah, drive go there. To, go drive to where it is. Or, yeah. like, oh, you know, if it's down the road, you'd probably walk there. And then everyone would be there, and you go, Poof, off we go. And then you go and do the race. And then there's like, oh, that person's first, that person's second. You've done this time, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, so running races, yeah? Yeah, I'm running yeah, we're races. We're all clear yeah. on how they work. On that, yeah. 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 What the fuck are these virtual ones about? Have you seen them? No. It's like, I see one the other day. Don't you run on it. Oh, right, you get the medals and shit. Run to the top of Everest. I'm like, fucking hell, that's extra. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. It's like, no, what you do is you download it, we send you a medal in the post, just run. Just, you can run, oh, walk, jog, yeah. do whatever the fuck you want. As long right? as you cover that distance. And just tell us, yeah, I've done that, that yeah. distance. Well, that, that's not what you've done then, is it? You know it? what's really annoying see this medal here? about that? See this medal? Run to the top yeah. of Everest. Yeah. Like no, you just, did. just down there. Just, yeah. just kept going back and forth. Yeah. yeah. What, what I was just more fucking annoyed about that is they make the medals look really fucking appealing. They're sick. They are, they? I want them. Like the medal, you know. But it's just like yeah, I've got this fucking medal. Like, it's got fucking bling on it, Mr. T. It's fucking got lasers going on. It looks shit hot. Like there's one from like Mordor. Like fucking run to Mordor. Yeah. And you, get even on a map. you get a ring to <laughs> like, put on it and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> run to Mordor. That's not even on a map. Yeah. It's not, is it? Like, no, it's it ain't real. No, like, I just far. I just don't right. understand how that works. If anyone can explain it to me, but it really pisses me off because I'm like, that's not what you've got a medal for. <laughs> you just made me real angry. Yeah, what? I get what you mean. <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, I agree. He's just yeah. on board. Like, I'm on board. Yeah. yeah, I just want the medals, you know. The, the medals are sick, yeah. big and jangly and that. I'd wear them like Mr. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it when, <laughs> some, I like when things are described as jangly. <laughs> yeah. Big and jangly and that. <laughs> Jingle jangly Donald jewelry. Pump, who you live with, is big and jangly, isn't he? He's a big jangly he is, boy. No, he? he's big and gangly. Yeah. <laughs> gangly jangly jangly. Not anymore, he's a brick shit house now. He's just like a big post. He's a lump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does he look like um, a log with arms? He's a massive log. Massive <laughs> hairy log. <laughs> Living log. Um, so, thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, get rid. Yeah, if you're going to run actually, to Mordor. Run to Mordor. Run to Mordor. Yeah. yeah, that challenge you. But in Utopia, that could be a real place. Yeah, but what are the benefits of having them things? I don't... It's just bragging rights, isn't it? It's for people just to have a medal, I think. To be honest with you, it's like I can go, I can do this on a treadmill and I can apply for it and go off and I get a sense of achievement because I've won a medal. And in actual fact, you're just not even doing the race here. But loads of them are like, you just do it in your own time. Right, you put, that's, that, not that's not the you're not replicating the challenge in any way. Yeah. You're not looking at a video of going up Everest or yeah. like round the fucking It's not a load of people starting at the starting line and I'm going three, two, one, go and he just turns and goes, Don't fucking tell me what to do. Yeah. Like yeah. To do a few steps and no, I'll sit about that, that's, the equivalent, mining, that's the equivalent of getting the gun and going, three, two, one, whenever you're ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe see at the end. And all of the people at the front going. 
yeah, get, get yeah, a fight, like, I think. Yeah. Go get fucking Tesco's meal though first. You come in. Yeah. Go do that. Fucking have a little walk yeah. around. Go to the park. Oh, I've got. I've done. I've done ten meters of this marathon. I'm just going to nip, sco- nip, nip the kids to school. I come do the rest. Yeah. 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 So, so, so oh, I need to put the bins out back in a minute. They're still at the front and they're like ready. Three, two. I'm going to start about June. I think. <laughs> what I'm makes me like June? <laughs> With that medal thing, you've got to apply to technically finish the race yeah you got right i'm gonna i'm decided i'm gonna finish now i'll send off my application <laughs> to see when i'm allowed to finish yeah. it <laughs> yeah the three to five working days i'll tell I them i don't the know if you could job. just send them the oh. thing and say look i've done it yeah probably it, should we do, oh, oh, should oh. just try and get one without actually cost, doing, doing it cost us money isn't it they, it's obviously they don't a money give spin, a shit right? do they they're yeah. like you're buying a medal <laughs> I bet it is, it's, it's well. a medal shop is all it is yeah, yeah. I bet it is, really? is I bet it is, is you don't even need to prove anything you just say I've done it and they go okay we'll buy this medal for 9 99 yeah it won't be that either. It'll be like fucking 70 quid or some yeah, shit. Yeah. It'll be well expensive. Fucking crazy. They are fancy ass medals. I don't know if you've seen it. There's um, adverts that tell you not to buy something, but it's like supposed to be quirkily shrouded as to why you should buy it. Are you, are you experienced no, them? So no, there's a bit so. like us and the sponsor. Don't fucking buy yeah. nothing, but yeah. buy out. Oh, but so but, like, they, go, yeah. they go like, oh five reasons why I hate I wish I'd never bought an Udi and like reason one the material is too soft and if so if you uh, like being comfortable yeah. don't buy an Udi that's a lot of another pet yeah. peeve as well very very similar to that but you know when people are like it's like what is your toxic trait I'm too nice <laughs> <laughs> and you're like that's fuck mine. off oh, I'm just like, too, <laughs> too nice oh, I'm just too caring and loving for people and yeah. you know it's just, it's just toxic I don't think I don't <laughs> think you can be too right. nice I think mean, there's not enough nice people in the world. People take that the wrong way. Don't yeah. They? Like I know plenty of people that I'm like, fucking, you know, they're real nice. I never say they're too nice. Yeah, yeah. But when you say that someone is too nice, it means they're easily mugged off. That's what you actually. That's, mean, yeah. The real it? phrase is too nice for your own good. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You you give too many people the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. You, yeah. you know you get walked all over. <laughs> Dan Gies are uh, looking after Madeline Jack's McCann was like, a bit sure. too nice to her, really, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. Was, yeah. Yeah. A bit too nice. A bit too, yeah. Yeah. too much hospitality here. You can charge a new rent oh, soon. Oh, Kelly, <laughs> five. oh Kelly was just a bit too nice to all <laughs> them young girls, wasn't it? Oh, God. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> what, what's Prince the matter with that? Prince what's Andrews. What's the matter with that? Is it, uh, I'm following on from what you said. Yeah, 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 Prince Andrew's the same, though, isn't he? What? Prince yeah. Andrew's the yeah, same. He was he's too nice to all the kids. <laughs> yeah. That's why he's... He, if nice. anything, he loves them. <laughs> he was that nice to him. That's... I mean, he's been... He's in the royal family. <laughs> exactly. He's prestigious That's elitist. That's how you get in the royal family, by being too nice. Well, apparently it is. No, you need, no, you need <laughs> to fuck no, kids. No, he was already there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lizards. Steve, Steve, don't fuck no. lizards. Be a lizard. Steve, fuck kids. Stephen Hawking was too nice on Epstein's Island. You seen that? He's been put in his little black box. He can't have done it. People must have done stuff to him, surely. Yeah, I, well, there's a thing quite it, smart. of Epstein denying that he was ever there. What, but Epstein denied so that he was ever on his own island? No, that Hawkins was there. We can see tracks in the sand, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> it it was not me. Nance, Nance, shit, it's stuck. Sorry, Nance, Nance. <laughs> Come here, kiddies. No, sorry, uh, wrong one. <laughs> I've got the wrong soundboard loaded. He, he's dead now, isn't he? Yeah, he died. Nonsense. From nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Too many kids got on his fun wagon toppled over. His <laughs> fun wagon. <laughs> fun wagon. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, this is uh, off the rails already. Yeah, uh, that took a turn, didn't it? Yeah, but Instagram fucking kids. <laughs> Um, what, Instagram well, fucks kids? Yeah. Probably. Probably, fun, probably does. Probably funds it in somewhere yeah, or another. Yeah. No, Instagram, stupid Instagram adverts, and also, yeah, yeah. yeah that's gone. Boom. Oh, Two boom. Get rid of it. Got a little one for you. Double boom. <laughs> Double <Yeah>. boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> we're, 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 not, or, we're aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just seen what happened. I took up a test drive. It's not. <laughs> yeah. Pick up the phone at work, don't I? You know what? I didn't say that. So it's not, it's <laughs> but similar sort of thing. Yeah, you know when people start um, using the phonetic, phon- what's it? Phonetic. Phonetic, phonetic alphabet. Yeah. <laughs> and I just think I can hear you clearly. Stop doing that to make yourself look like an elitist cunt. Just I use you- the phonetic alphabet. I, no, I, I use it, and, it, and see, I'm the opposite. It annoys me, especially on the phone, when people don't. 
Oh, yeah. piss off. Because I, every uh, single time I've spoken to people, like obviously I get a lot of regs. Is that a five? I'm like, or a I, nine I can't sound a fucking word eight. you're saying, mate, because always like, no, I don't know. the phonetic alphabet, he is, I'm clearly going, oh, no, 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 Yeah, is that a fucking scream? If you want to go faster, oh, that blows. <laughs> the and it also does make him when they go, yeah, yeah, it's it's D for Derek. <laughs> yeah, I was doing like, D for, no, just say yeah. it's Derek, <laughs> Marjorie. No, I, I know that's D and Why are you M. naming yeah. people at me? Yeah. What's just your address? S for shoes, V for Velcro shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll do. You do all it? yours of shoe based. Yeah. Yeah. Mine just, yeah. Because that annoys the fuck out of me. Five for five pairs of Velcro shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I've, had a custom, I've had customers before. I'm like, I can't, it, it always used to ring up on a bad line. And I was always like, can you say it in words? Because I can't hear you. And I was supposed to do what? Derek, stop screaming. No, Put your no, shoes on. Say it in words, Derek. Say it in words. But things like F and S sound the same on the phone. Yeah. N and M. They're yeah. hard to differentiate. A and... and- Z. A and A. Lemonock. But he, he always used to ring up on the bad line. And he, he always used to say it. And I'm like, can you say it in words? Because I can't hear you. And he'd go, oh, I don't know none of that. And I'm like, you, you don't need to know that. Just any word that starts with that letter. It doesn't yeah. need to be right. People think if it's not right, they're going to get shot. It might be like, you know, sometimes get people feel like the game show pressure, don't they? It might be like, oh, they do. Oh, it's, uh, Z, it's D for... D, d, um, March. Um, <laughs> d for... That one. <laughs> it's A for anti-disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> mm. I would get that. <laughs> for B for B. B for B, <laughs> C for cunt, D for hello. I like, I like saying. Yeah, you're the sort of fucker that was just saying other words. I like saying like K or N and saying words like knockers or something like that. <laughs> or like knob. And they're like, how are you spelling that? I'm like, with a K. <laughs> With a what, sorry? You know, K for knob. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how are you spelling that? Good K N O B. P for pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. P- pneumonia. <laughs> pneumonia. My favourite thing at the minute is when people ring up and they like think of them and you can see, you, we can hear people panic and they're like, oh, I can't think of anything. And then they're like, F for. F- f- Fanny, <laughs> <laughs> and then but then they're like, oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm like, that's fine. I know what that means. Like, I'm not a moron, and, and I know that F is Fanny. It's no problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You don't need to be professional here. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. Also, fuck then. off. Don't say swear words. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. so F for well, fuck off. I often I'll just say if it's like H and they start saying it, I'm like, I'm like, no, if it's the other way around, sorry. If I'm like trying to think of the word and I'm like, H for and then whatever word that I'm trying to say it's horse you know uh, I don't spell horse I think H for horse O for, o for horse. Horse, horse yeah R, R for, for the middle of the horse R yeah. for roars S for shoes <laughs> E for every shoe every single shoe a horse has owned in its long life yeah I, but mm. like I, I do get you though like first of all try and say it and then if the person goes I struggled to hear that and then go yeah. right okay no, delta no, tango no. whatever Just go, don't worry about them don't worry about it. Don't but. worry about it. Tell you what, mate. Don't worry about it. That times don't I've been stuck it. there with people, and I will literally go, I couldn't hear you. And they say it again, and it, they'll be like, there was, there was one, and it was a, a company um, we had called Machio Gaspardo. Something to do with Machio Gaspardo. Yeah, but I couldn't hear him, and That's I just kept repeating it and repeating it wrong. So I'd be like, it's mas- Machio Gaspardo. No, it's Gaspardo. Machio Gasardo. No, it's Gaspardo. Pascardo and I just kept doing that <laughs> and I wrote it on the sheet as uh, Macho Gascardo and it turns out it was wrong yeah <laughs> every yeah. time you touch I get <laughs> this feeling but come back nice, nice. Mister, we'll reach for the sky <laughs> and that. yeah Someone, will it? well there's something to do with farming they're aware of G-Lays <laughs> I've got a gillet yeah but like farmer's G-Lay no I'm a real just, workers mine's, man G-Lay he's, mine's just G-Ray. he's got a G-Ray. gillet steak gillet steak fuck it gillet steak yeah made of steaks in it oh like fillet steak yeah right. I often yeah. look at gotcha, wanting gotcha, to get, gotcha. I often look at wanting to get a gilet then I feel like I'd just be sad because I ain't got the arms you have got the up no not them I'd be like oh, yeah. I'm so warm but I'm not because my arm's cold I've neglected them so you I have to like, buy like, buy like buy a really this. long glove it's weird yeah. how it keep, it does keep you warm though it's, it's very odd 
a body warmer. You don't yeah. see yeah. opposite gilets very much, do you? What, just the sleeves? Yeah. <laughs> no, we had them. We had the them. Puffer jacket sleeves. When I worked in the psychiatric hospitals, you had them. That's a straight jacket. No, it's not. No, no we had them. Strange. To stop getting bit, it was like two sleeves with a little bit of elastic and you had to put them on, so it was literally just <laughs> like sleeves. Like mittens. Yeah, you had to put the, the fucking rungs in the like glove Like dog bits. sleeves. Yeah, like that, yeah. <laughs> wow. Stop getting bit. <laughs> <laughs> I did love that job Phenomenal Anyway yeah Fuck uh, Pinochetic Alphabet Yeah um, Just quickly yeah. Why is H Not H Really pisses me off Well the, really The rapper's got it right Hasn't he Yeah it's H Like the word A-I-T-C-H, A-I-T-C-H. H. But it pisses H. me off It's not H Well I think it is Actually pronounced H No it's not Not <laughs> Shove a break. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bosh! <laughs> See you later. Utopia Project. Now then, you vile little piss worms, have you checked your social media lately? I bet you haven't. And if you look on there, are we on there? Have you followed us? Sharpie, where can they find us? TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Fucking said it. Yeah, yeah you well done. It. Fifth take of this mid show ad, and you've nailed it. Fucking now, it. the big million dollar question what have they got to search to find us? The Utopia Project? No. Podcast? No. What do they have to search? At. At Utopia Project Pod. Well done, Jack. What else can they do to support the show? Fucking ring that bell! <laughs> yeah. Ring it! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Like you're a town crier. Which, Bring it. Yeah, any specific bell? Uh, the one on just YouTube. Like in their street. This one round there. Yeah. Um, on YouTube. Uh, on YouTube, and you can subscribe, and we love it, and it's great, and you can imagine that we do when we see you've got a new subscriber. We're gonna do a little happy bell dance. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. You can also follow us and support us on Spotify. You might be watching this on Spotify. We're on there with our faces and everything now yeah. so yeah follow us on there like all the things and yeah share our content that would be really good conquer that naughty little bell end. keep what you win <laughs> apparently <laughs> Utopia Project yeah so the trick with what you're saying right basically sure moral of the story yeah wipe front to back you'll be fine right going. that's where I'm going wrong then yeah I always go left to right Left to right? Yeah, yeah. That's all manner of wrong. Yeah. yeah. Makes Rick sense. Here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. How are you doing, mate? Good, not bad, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you guys. What have you yeah. been up to, mate? Uh, been busy. Yeah. I'm allowed to say like, what time of year it is, or not? Is it like... Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay yeah. we're only a week or so. It's not so it's, uh, it's most most, most, most cool. people are aware now. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. So, Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah I've not really done much, really, yet. Really, um, I've had some time off. Yeah. So usually this is like a really busy period for me where yeah. it's like uh, Christmas parties, mental season, uh, and I actually had a little bit of a break. So finished like on the 21st of December and then I had a wedding on the 30th and then, um, yeah, just been chilling. And uh, yeah, although there's not really much of a break. I mean, I don't know if you guys got kids, have you? I have, yeah. You yeah, guys, yeah. yeah. So, all right, you guys are then living the dream then. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah, yeah. You're not legally allowed to win a break. Yeah, yeah. For the greater good, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, obviously, having children is like just full on anyway. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just looking after my door at the minute and um, getting ready for the new year. I did yeah. this by Instagram, which yeah. I don't know why I didn't expect that you would have normal <coughs> hobbies, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But you went skateboarding. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, it was, yeah. It was, it was strange seeing it on Weirdly, Instagram. Weirdly, yeah. isn't the only thing yeah, he no, does. I don't, I don't know why. I just thought, wait, well, he's a magician. He can't, he can't yeah, be yeah. Don't go skateboarding. All he yeah. does, 24 hours a day, magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Would you like your team, my love? <laughs> yeah, sure. Puff. Yeah, so, yeah, so I think I'm classed as like an elder emo, as they say. Yeah, yeah. I grew up on like, pop punk uh, metal and all that so like I had like midlife crisis in lockdown it was like I don't want to go skateboarding again so I got a skateboard out and then we was going to like Stamford Skate Park yeah yeah and um, obviously shh, I mean I mean, this is recorded live now isn't it so it's going to be out there but um, I was secretly skateboarding when we weren't supposed to you know like when we were supposed no. to stay indoors oh, oh, Vegas rules right don't Vegas tell Matt Hancock right? it was no, alright right yeah. for Mojo wasn't it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah he was yeah, always yeah, doing skateboard right, yeah um, <laughs> and then just started continuing doing it I found out I'm actually better in my 30s than I was in like when I was 20 so, well that's uh, a first for anything isn't it I know yeah usually yeah. I do anything yeah. in my 30s and I'm like yeah I'm terrible at this yeah I'm not as good as I thought I was yeah yeah, do what I do yeah. just keep doing it just keep doing it and yeah. being terrible at it just keep hammering in I, see, I thought like what you said the other week when you said about because he's part of a band yeah. you said like right try and learn a new song and obviously when you're years ago you pick up a guitar and like within two hours you're like yeah, yeah, yeah. I can play that no yeah. problem 
Yeah. Like now you're 30 and you're like, after 10 minutes, you're like, fuck this shit. Yeah, yeah I can't do yeah. it. <laughs> it's mad the amount of time you would put in to learning something like that when you were younger and not yeah. bat an eyelid. I think because you don't have responsibilities, do you? So you just kind of, you, you yeah. will just play the same song over and over do again. Do apologise. I've just realised what I was like, something ain't right here. I ain't got my earpiece in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to say something thing, actually. It's like back in my 20s, I didn't have much of a thought process. Like, I don't have What's now. new? Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> worse, like I needed to wear an helmet or something. But <laughs> back now, I think, no, nah, you know, I didn't give a fuck back then. And now yeah, I'm yeah. like, that was wrong. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Should that was not wrong. have done that. Yeah, and then before I was like, that's good. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. No, you, were, yeah. you were lifing very wrong back then. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, My favourite one of you is how you described <laughs> uni. Mm. Wasn't it like Oh it's like Smash oh, Smash Smash, smash. smash. Ooh, I'll go now <laughs> <laughs> No degrees Yeah Yeah But yeah mm. Smashing yeah. it with the skateboard in there Well yeah trying to I mean a bit like what you said there In, in 2020 I didn't have a child So like I was a bit more carefree Like doesn't matter if I break my arm Because I'm not working like, yeah. I was booking weddings uh, So now I'm like I'm literally like Knee pad like I've even got like um, protectors in my socks uh, and all that sort of thing um, so like, I don't wear the helmet as much I should really but um, yeah just like you know, a little bit like reluctant to hurt myself because we know what happens now if you break your arm or leg like yeah. there ain't gonna be no magic That's, so no, yeah. no, no. So. I keep saying like well, I, I did a bit of mountain biking a year or so ago oh jeez yeah and uh like my problem was because I've, I've done all kinds of biking and every time it's never really been a problem I'm like yeah fuck it we'll give it a go yeah. and like send it into jumps and all sorts of stuff I went into jumps when I was trying it recently and I was like as soon as I take off I find it really difficult because my head goes yeah let's go and my body goes mm, you got work on Monday <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't c- careful yeah, yeah, careful yeah. go steady yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like if I break something that's a problem yeah 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 <laughs> We, you know, like you know, like fear, right? So uh, I don't know if you know what it means, right? Do you know, like he how, doesn't an acronym, right? <laughs> so, like, uh, so like a lot of people say, like fear, F E A R stands for like fantasize, exaggeration, appearing real. I've got a better one. I'm allowed to swear on it. Yeah, can't yeah, say yeah, whatever cool. you want. So fuck everything and run. That's what happens, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Really scared. <laughs> so now, like obviously, when you're older now and you face, it's a little bit harder because there is like that fear of shit. If I do break something or if I uh, fall over, then yeah, my career's over or like my business is buggered. So yeah, yeah. a little bit harder. But that's I, I agree with that because that all that. <laughs> also surmises the flight or fight response yeah 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 because with fuck everything and run <laughs> yeah it's always flight yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck every- i don't care who's there could be my kids fuck off i'm the, scared the opposite with the yeah. uh, working selling suits with the passion that i've got for that i often walk on the way to work and see a car and think time off <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I could just I could just step out of here maid service come around what do you want toast or cereal I'll have them Weetabix in the plastic bowl please Mary <laughs> oh, sorted Job a week done. of that you know get out can sit here in a full brace like that just giving it big ins up yeah. just having a rest <laughs> mate yeah it? these well, don't make magic they need to be put away yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like oh, what do you want for your dinner shop is like anything that doesn't involve my job yeah. Just anything, yeah. anything. I can stay in here, draw pictures, Mary. You can bring me Weetabix and dry toast. Then I feel like you've thought about this Mary quite a lot. Yeah. What? Yeah, there's many of them. <laughs> there's many Marys. Many Marys yeah. in my life. I see you're a man of many Marys. I am indeed. I am indeed. <laughs> yeah. I um for skateboarding for me, so that I don't get injured or anything like that. Yeah. Um, do what I do it. It's about every seven years. I say like seven year itch, don't I? So every seven years I go, right, skateboarding. Got my name on it. Yeah. Let's have it. Yeah. I order myself a deck, I order myself a truck. I've spent ages like I'm gonna get I've got some money now. I'm not a teenager anymore. Get a, I'm nice. get a real fucking sick skateboard. <laughs> yeah. That's I get it, cost, yeah. I build it and I go got one of them now yeah and then it goes in the shed <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then yeah. that's yeah. it seven years later do the same again this yeah. is the problem is it like in England like it's crap weather like most of the year so you like, can't guarantee nothing can no, you no yeah so a lot of my skateboard now is like in Dargo Corby let's go like mm. Adrenaline Alley that's a little plug there if you want to sponsor me yeah. um, but um, trying to go there like it's just wooden ramps so when I grew yeah. up like um, back in like Peterborough there's this wonderful like venue uh, called Whitey Skates like yes. really famous oh, that, we, we, yeah, we, we travelled there a lot yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's cool yeah, we we my birthday present every year. 
Yeah. yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Like, dad, dad, take me to Peterborough, yeah, please. Yeah. He'd be like, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, go there for a day. Yeah. Yeah. Big yeah. Fur, yeah. So obviously, um, Corby used to have one of those as well, uh, but they got rid of it, obviously, pre lockdown. So obviously, I was hoping to go back there, redo it all. But, um, you know, remember that like community as a skateboarding? It's like, if you do like, like a really cool trick, then everyone like, starts tapping their decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like, God, you don't get that in life, do you? So no. just to get that little boost is quite yeah. nice. So that's what we're actually rooting for each other for once. Yeah. Yeah. One, one, one of my mates at White's Escape, we went there, we were crap at skateboarding. Like, I couldn't even really drop in or anything. It was yeah. just like, Dad, take me to White's Escape and I'll stand about and look at people who can skate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, I've, but I've got the skateboard that I've built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And I've dared my mate. He was he's, he was about six foot, wasn't he? Oh, is this Perry? Yeah, gangly, and I was like, good down the death round, and they had this big fuck oh, yeah, yeah, rolling. Oh yeah, two rollings, it was yeah, fucking yeah. massive. Because well, one, one of them did that, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then the other one was straight. It goes straight yeah. down into this. They called it the death box because you got some fucking air on it. Mm. Yeah, he never dropped in, never nothing. He was like, yeah, all right. But he didn't. He, he went down, down it, it right. Down. So like, obviously. I understand that sometimes you kind of freeze up a bit in them situations. Mm. So when you hit a ramp, you have to bend your knees, don't you? To like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just went bang, straight into it, smack it, and he laid there for about thirty seconds. And I went, I was like, "Are you all right?" And he just yeah, went, yeah. "No." <laughs> it was like off, like off a cartoon. He was just squished. Surprisingly, I had a very yeah. similar thing at uh, North Highcombe uh, Fenlane Skate Park. Yeah. So they have like two ramps. It's tiny, and one of them is a flat bank, and it goes down like that. And I remember the first time I skateboarded, I managed to do it, and I was like, I've got this. And then again, left it fucking ages, and I was like, well, I've done that. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Went back to the top, did exactly the same thing. Pushed off like that, like a rigid little stick, man. <laughs> and then just waiting for it to get near the end before it dropped in. And then I was like, bosh! And then it's like it would have just, like the floor was there, and it just carried on going. And my face went into the floor. <laughs> and, uh, I left yeah, after yeah. that. Yeah, I've never done it again. No, yeah, but, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, never yeah. good. I've misjudged this. Yeah. Well, well, here's a really cool thing. Like, I don't know if you guys will remember this at White Skate. There's a guy who used to skateboard there called Pete. Um, really lovely guy. I think he maybe had some uh, learning difficulties like Asperger's. And he was like a real famous icon because he was just always so nice. And the thing he'd always do would come up to you and go, hello, you okay? You okay? And that's just, he'd just repeat that all the time. And he's now still skating in his 30s, doing it now. And he's like a legend of like the oh, skateboarding community. Wow. So oh, wicked. It was like, hang on a minute, I, I, th- I think I know you. Yeah. And so it's like a proper like trip going back in time, that sort of thing. And proper really blast from the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. loving it, yeah. Makes you feel good. Yeah. yeah. So we, had cool, that, we had that once. Our, our thing at, at Welton was, because it was like, it was it was four quarter pipes in a square, so yeah. with a couple of boxes in between, so you could hip transfer them all and just keep going round. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was always a BMX kind of guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want well, BMX. people like you. I yeah, know, sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> scooter is it? Yeah. Ugh. So Ugh. there's yeah. flat bank and then two, a two like a little quarter quarter and a big quarter and now I think I was learning to hip transfer and I was oh, trying to do it on the little one so I was like down the flat bank over the box hip so I did it and then the first time we did it and our rule was if you do something three times you've got it in the bag yeah. so the first time you do it just smash another two out and you, like you've got it just straight away just you go, say go you go. can do that trick yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, if you do it three times like you know what you're doing you're, you're qualified you get a certificate <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish you did I was I'm thinking I'm embroidered swimmers about it oh, yeah. 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 I wish you did because I wouldn't have any of those certificates because <laughs> um, I so I did it the first time and I was like yeah sick got it and there was like, like there was a couple of my mates was there and was like go 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 do it again do it again so that's like, sick so I went straight up did it again and I was like yeah, 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 yeah. do it again do it again <laughs> and I was like right but, but at this point like, I was hyped as fuck I was like yeah. let's fucking go like I am like the BMX version of Tony Hawk yeah. <laughs> fucking call me Con- whatever you want oh, no, no, Con- Tony, Tony, Tony Spork Tony Spork, Tony Spork. Oh. I can't, well, I can't, he had a game I can't think well, of yeah, 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 yeah. he had a game as well yeah. the BMX, the BMX one, Matt, um, was, Matt, it was it Matt, Matt Hoffman yeah was it Matt Hoffman it was the same like the same company wasn't it yeah yeah never saw it no one ever played it so I was going around <coughs> hyped as fuck and I'm like yes let's fucking go got to the top of the flat bank turned around and I was like fucking yeeted it straight straight down the flat bank over the box took off and I was like as soon as I took off I was like too fast way too fast <laughs> way too fast why did I do this and I fucking flew straight over the ramp I completely missed the down ramp um, I was going far too fast to get anywhere near that um, and I just went from about 8 foot to flat 
and because I kind of tried it was one of the things where you know you can see the ground coming and there ain't nothing you can do about it yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. even in your head you're like accept your fate you did this I, I never it. experienced it because I just owned a skateboard <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That's that's like, it. Yeah. yeah but um, yeah and I was just like well this is happening and I kind of tried to bail I think but I think as I landed my feet came off the pedals and the um, I never let go of the bike because I didn't want to break it um, but my <laughs> just uh, body yeah. <laughs> just, just both arms <laughs> I thought this is the only crumple zone I have and it's metal it's <laughs> Like a new bike. Yeah. yeah. So I, I kind of leant f- like backwards, slash pulled the bike forward. The seat went straight into my chest. I cracked three ribs and oh, bent all my geez. seat over. Yeah, that hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah, I'll but bet, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, back the, on the bike the next the, week. Do yeah, it again. Yeah, 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 the, best, it, yeah. the best one I've experienced you do. Yeah, was watching you out of our living room window going up and oh, down. Oh my face! You might be yeah. able to see it. Well, he, I got scar he, still. He his bike was going up and down. <laughs> just watching him. I was like, cool. And then. Uh, you can see him. I can still do that. Every pra- time I get on a bike, I'm like, I can do it. doing no hands. Yeah. So he's just pedaling. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> he's doing well there. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then I see the, I could feel the cogs in his head. I wonder if I could do this standing up. <laughs> yeah. And he just went, come down the road. And he, no hands. He just went like that and just fucking dived <laughs> off the front of the bike. Smashed, landed on your face. Landed yeah. on my face. I grated yeah. this side of my face straight. I'll never like, forget that. I was like, Mo, that hurt, that get the first aid kit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still, you can maybe still see it. There's a bit of a, I was yeah. looking at it the other day. When I get hot, you can see it in my cheeks. I've got like a graze down here still. Oh, my beard yeah. covers some of it, it up. But chewed you up. It, it proper mashed me up. And it was like old school gravel, like, oh, yeah, like yeah. Lo- loose tarmac roads. <laughs> yeah. I bet it just looked like he tried to commit suicide. Yeah. Like, what's yeah. he doing here? <laughs> no. Yeah, he was just, no, I was I was full on. Yeah. You know when you see a toddler fall over and they haven't learned to put their arms out yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was that, but on gravel. No, I I think, like, what happened to your arms? Where did they yeah, go? The trouble yeah. just yeah. extended the no hands to the fall as well as the riding of the bike. Yeah, so yeah, it's like, no, yeah. if I'm falling off, still can't use me. Well, mum, no hands. <laughs> Smash. Do you think mid-air, like, you deserve this? Probably. I don't know. I just... I. I think it all happened that quick. I just never even thought to yeah. like put my hands out. I didn't have chance. One of them, like with toddlers, when they hit the floor and yeah. you have that five seconds of like, <gasps> are they dead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like that. Yeah. So my my daughter's two years old. She does this. And this goes yeah, out yeah. massive. Yeah, 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 horrible, horrible. Just gives you enough time yeah. to get the like the earplugs, doesn't it? Just yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, yeah, can't like, hear it. Can't can play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all, they're all. Uh, any pet peeves then, my mate? Yes. So, um, so this is quite obviously uh, recent, I guess, with uh, with having a, a child as well. But it's yep. unsolicited advice and recommendations from family and friends. Mm. You know, like when you get like back to driving. Uh, yeah, yeah. You get advice you just didn't want or you didn't need. So, like quite often. Um, this happens quite a lot recently. So we, we had like uh, some building work happen in, in uh, at home because uh, we had a leak earlier on this year and uh, it kind of ruined the whole ceiling in the living room. It's quite funny, like, so we're telling like our friends and family about, oh yeah, so the builder's going to come in. Yeah, they told us what's going to happen. And then like your friends and family start telling you, oh yeah, I know what's going to happen then. So they're going to, yeah, so it'll take about a week to dry and think, what? And then they just go on and on telling you about like, so yes, yeah, so and then you have to get your, no, you don't, you haven't got any idea about what this, but you have to just take it. Yeah, yeah. And take it on the chin and go, you don't know anything about this, but I'm going to have to say, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah. yeah you think, are you a builder? Uh, no, yeah, yeah, well, shut exactly. up then. Yeah, that's I, it, yeah. I, I yeah. fear I am that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am that guy. We did it yeah. at the shop the other day, didn't we? Yeah. We went to his studio, and the electrician was there doing some work, wasn't he? Chunk is a former electrician. Yeah. yeah. Straight and first words out of my mouth. Have you told him? Have you told him? <laughs> yeah, 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 have you told yeah. him you're an electrician? What was my response? I used, yeah, yeah. I used to do that. I used to do that. <laughs> yeah. What was my That's response? Like, yeah, yeah, already done oh, it. Oh, oh, yeah, first yeah. thing out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you don't have yeah. to beat around the bush with me, mate. Oh, no, the lingo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're up. doing an earth loop test, are you? Oh, I remember when I had to do that back in the day. Yeah, well, it's those things, though, like on the other uh, foot, that electrician, that it's just like, it's just, it's really, uh, I mean, intention's good, right? They're, they're trying to do it in a nice way, but it's just like, Fuck off! I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. You know, fuck like, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and it's just a lot of the things like people advice and stuff, which you just don't want to ask. Like, I'll ask you if I want your advice, so don't yeah. tell me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so it's just annoying. Yeah. I'll give you some really good parenting advice, didn't I? When when yeah. your when your first born was see what, Rick, see what Ricky makes of this. Really yeah. good, really okay, good. Go right, it, yeah. see if you can tell who out of the three of us has kids. Of course, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, your first born was what was she like six or something? Uh, six, like six months or something. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Lots of sleep issues, obviously. Uh, so, oh, getting up in the night, getting up really early, not going to bed. 
all this kind of stuff and there's like well we put her down at six and she's up at like three in the morning and she's just wide awake all the way through and i was like hmm hmm how do we fix this <laughs> Have you tried just putting her to bed later? Because <laughs> yeah. then she might sleep in a bit longer. And I swear to God, I, I he could have he would have punched me. I literally yeah. throttled you there. Yeah. No. Sleep <laughs> yeah. as well, yeah. 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 I was just like, that's not how it works. Yeah. 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 Looking back on it now, in my defence, <laughs> yeah. 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 like you're an idiot, Jack. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Surely it should be how it works. In theory, yeah. if you yes. if you can get them to go to bed. Later, so they go to bed. But they go to sleep when they go to sleep, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. A newborn no. needs feeding like every two, three hours, something like that, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking it's relentless. To I, start I, with. Well, I've done many times. Just, uh, I mean, I, uh, my wife will probably watch this after, so she didn't hear this. But um, <laughs> many times, like where we've come home from, like baby swimming or something, and then like she just wants to fall asleep in the car. And I'm like, you're not going to sleep now. I'm not getting like nap. Like, what's it called? Like nap trap? I think it is. Yeah. Or car nap, nap trap. trap. Um, I'm like. Because I'm going to get home, and then we'll take you for a walk, and then you can have a sleep, and then I can watch Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you can like nap when it suits me. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to. The amount yeah. of times with the little, well, when particularly when Elsie was smaller, yeah, I'm like, see her in that little, the little shitty rear view that you get for look at your kids. Yeah, and yeah. then you're like, right, um, you're like, Elsie, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. yeah. This is the radio. Yeah. There's a tree out there. There's yeah, a yeah. tree. Yeah. Look at the tree. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that sounds better yeah. and I'm like that doesn't sound fun it like, sounds no, like yeah. weird sort of inception thing because they're now awake but they don't know why the routine's changed but their routine has changed yeah. in their own like, subconscious brain now they're mardy about the fact the routine's changed and <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. they can't really work it out so then I ask because they want to go to sleep but their brain said no you don't sleep anymore yeah. Yeah. Um, but all they can work yeah. out is that it's your fault yeah yeah, yeah. 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 it's your fault that I'm doing this yeah. oh, oh, and you're yeah. like I had no part in it yeah. you yeah. subscribe to the angry arsehole <laughs> subscription <laughs> that has nothing yes. to do with me yeah yeah I I um no, it's gone. That's cool. Mm-hmm. It's, fell off, it's fell off me, Ed. <laughs> fell off your head. Yeah, yeah. Gone. That's it. I, I think that we, uh, with that, though, that's where, like, the parents, you get a lot of that unsolicited advice because it's like, people tell you, like, oh, you know, when, when we had a child, it's like, well, you had a child, like, 20, 30 years ago. Like, your advice doesn't, like, last yeah. now. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're yeah, completely yeah. different age now. Mm. Um, so that's, like, really annoying. You just have to grin and bear it. So, like, you go to, like, a lot of groups and then, like, parents and family members just want to tell you how to raise your child you think fuck off I know what I'm doing right yeah. well I don't know what I'm doing really that's yeah, secret, yeah. But, but you'll figure it out that's the yeah, point yeah. 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 yeah so let me figure it out <clears> that's yeah. a big that's learning curve truth, isn't it though, right. the truth yeah. is and I said that to my, my old man what, like when I first found out I was having kids and stuff and I was like like, how, how do you know what you're doing like yeah. when do you figure it out and he's like he, he's like I'm still winging it, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm 63. Yeah. I still don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah, like, but you, you know, you, you're, you're my dad, and you know what's going on. And he's like, nah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was like unveiled. I was yeah. like, oh, not yeah. seen behind the scenes. No one knows <laughs> how to yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you don't get like a like you if you do like a driving test, you you have to go through a theory test, practical, and then you get obviously your your little certificate to say you can go drive. At the hospital, it's just like there you go. Yeah. yeah. But you want to hear a funny story about the hospital, right? So. Obviously, part of my job, as you know, right, I, I meet loads of people performing events and stuff. And um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, like, famous at all. I'd be quite cool if I was. But now, like, my local vicinity, because of all the, the weddings I do, I'll go into, like, Tesco's or supermarkets. People go, hello, Ricky, how are you? I'm like, don't know who you are, hello. Right. But I just get to know people, right? Um, so on the day where uh, my wife's waters, we thought it broke, um, we went to triage. And then um, they said, OK, yeah, um, this was before I got married. They said, Mrs. Locke, you're going to have to go go give a little wee sample I went okay yeah sure and then uh, the other nurse then starts sitting to me whilst my wife's going to have a wee and uh, she says um, oh so um, have you got much time off I said well I've taken a bit of time off but my baby's really late she's about two weeks late so should go back to work next week she went oh what is it you do I said oh I'm, I'm a professional magician and then uh, right then the curtains open up and this woman another nurse goes are you Ricky Locke I was like yeah yeah uh, who are you she went I'm Pippa you're doing my wedding next year I went Oh, cool, great, cool, right. And then she went, I'll be with you in a minute because I'm going to be your nurse. Went, great. So she then comes back through. My wife comes back having no knowledge of this at all, <laughs> gets onto the bed, pulls down everything, you know, and obviously is fully exposed, right? Pippa then comes in and then starts examining her, you know, doing what she needs to do, and then says, Oh, uh, by the way, uh, Mrs. Locke, your husband's performing at my wedding. <laughs> She's like, Oh, what the hell? Yeah, so my wife absolutely hates it now. Anytime we go out, everyone says hello. And so she's been Everybody fully knows you. Yeah, 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 so. Yeah, that's a big good. Be good if Pippa had gone, yeah, I'll, I'll wad up you. Now, yeah. my next trip. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of flowers! Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. it's really hard, though, because for me, it's um, a bit of separation of like, because like, obviously when, when I'm performing or if I'm like speaking on stage you're on like full energy like hey guys hey jazz hands that kind of thing and sometimes when I go to Tesco I just want to be a miserable bastard you know because yeah. you just want to get milk yeah, yeah. so like you really have to be like you don't want to be like hey everyone how are you and I'm thinking i probably got like the next 24 hours where I'm thinking I could lose this gig if I'm a bit of an arsehole so I'm going to have to put a brave face on tomorrow yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, as, as well as being a situation <laughs> that's actually like <laughs> worrying and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. other shit and you're like fuck off like, yeah. I left my cards at home alright like, yeah. I just can't imagine maybe she'd go home and go God, you know how magician we're but well he's right arsehole yeah, yeah. we're not going to have yeah. it all yeah. it was ever so miserable yeah. his wife came in to give birth, give yeah. birth. Yeah. Yeah. Just just his wife up. was only trying to give birth I only asked him to do one trick <laughs> that's it yeah. <laughs> yeah. just pick the eyes so they don't know it's you well that's true yeah. Yeah. pick yeah. their eyes that would be a whole different show wouldn't it I forgot you do pick pocket and they yeah oh shit down lads got a that's what he was doing. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. got 47 pop toys, Nick. Yeah. I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> you probably wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, yeah. we're already on eBay. Not on next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd open the door yeah. next week and I'd be like, 
oh fucking bastard got me again <laughs> <laughs> just come around nicking stuff yeah that's all I do I wouldn't even house. be bothered as well because it's like I'm a pickpocket yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you pickpocketed my house while I was out Ricky has anyone fair, ever you got guys mad were out at having a break it? weren't you so who knows what happened exactly towel, someone's you know, gone so, yeah. has, has anyone ever got mad at you for it with the um, no because quite often like um, with pickpocketing like a lot of people that wait a little bit loose you know uh, and a few drinks so um I've done it to a couple of people who are like completely sober um, but obviously the best audience is a drunk audience because they're not kind of really as present as much mm, but um, yeah. no I, I, I did one at a wedding where um, it was kind of like they're not fully plastered but um, you, you you kind of worry yourself because you think sometimes if I go home and I haven't give everything back because I was oh, genuinely oh, yeah, yeah, accidentally yeah, wrong deal. yeah because then I get arrested you know yeah. so um, I got, yeah that's when it turns to theft yeah. Yeah. I got a grand for that gig yeah. and look at all these watches <laughs> there was a guy that did uh, in December and he I took his um, took his glasses I took his phone and then he had like a wad of cash that I brought out I thought oh god I don't even know like how much that is and I'm thinking you know if I'm going to lose that or drop on the floor then you know it can probably punch me I think one day it'll happen you know I'll probably get punched yeah. or something like that <laughs> someone because uh, it is like invading of your space yeah but because you're using a lot of misdirection um, yeah you know you kind of get away with it but the best thing I like what I like doing this year is I've been stealing a lot of ties yes which is unbelievable because a lot of people think like how, how on earth do you steal like, someone's tie though. when it's on them I think I've seen have yeah. you put up a couple of videos of you yeah. doing it I th- yeah. I'm sure it's you that I've seen a couple of videos of it yeah because yeah. my favourite thing is when you dangle it behind them yeah 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 and like they've yeah. got no idea <laughs> yeah and yeah. you're like all yeah. your shit's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so like, uh, like, uh, like, steal people's glasses. Um, usually, I might plant something in there as well. So sometimes, like, I'll have depending on who it is. Like, you have to like really build rapport with people. If I just go straight in with that treat, they're gonna think, hey, "What the hell are you touching me for?" Like, so you have to like build it up to it. Yeah. But sometimes I'll plant, and I might have done this at Baggy's wedding, where I'll plant like a little pot of Viagra. It's like a fake pot of sweets. Yeah, yeah. And I'll plant that in someone's pocket, and then pit pocket later and goes, "This yours?" They go, "That's not mine. That's mine." <laughs> and <Dean. laughs> so, at that point that's when I then use that misdirection to steal something else so yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's a really good skill to have it's quite fun and uh, it's quite easier than you think a lot of people think um, it takes a bit of confidence but uh, it's quite easy to do I think yeah, yeah I think but, oh, so like, cool. don't undersell yourself like, yeah, so, yeah, it's no, it's people pay me loads of money to come to their wedding yeah, it's, it's really, really hard no one like, can do you it, it yourself. Yeah. Yeah, people pay me to come to their wedding and nick stuff it's <laughs> yeah. great yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. but no I think like, like you said I suppose a lot of it is Bit, having the confidence to be brazen enough to just give it like not yeah. give it a go but you know to, to actually just be like bang it in the pockets yeah, and yeah, yeah. you'd be surprised yeah. how many people don't realise mm. yeah. so, so it's a really cool thing so um, I don't know if this is like too deep or too serious for the podcast so it goes out edit if not so there's um, so obviously as, as well as what I do I also run another company called The Confident Club we teach presentation skills to like blue chip companies like Coca-Cola and we have like a big belief in there which is there's no such thing as failure it's only outcomes so if you remove like failure from your language then if like I get caught I'll just tell them Oh, I'm just trying to pickpocket your watch and they'll laugh and then at that point I'll then carry on and do it so yeah, yeah. I'll always like use like any failure or anything like that as a bit of a stepping stone so if I go into like a wedding or an event and I've never done something before I'll give it a go and try it but if it doesn't go the way it did it's not a failure it's just an outcome so I can learn yeah. from it whereas a lot of people then take it as a failure and go oh won't do that again because I've messed up but actually yeah, yeah. just go cool actually failure doesn't exist just give it a go Whatever just happens. know what not yeah. to do next time yeah, yeah it's it, like yeah. I mean yeah. it, we've discussed stuff like that before haven't we like you don't you don't lose you learn that's yeah, yeah, my yeah, favourite yeah, one yeah like, yeah just but one more way to not achieve yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? There's another so, way about not to do it, yeah. so you, you've narrowing down how to do it. Aren't what, what was yeah. the other one? The, the the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome. Yeah, mm. yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah. you you're like if you just try something, it didn't work. As long as you're doing it a different way. Keep going. Yeah. Otherwise, no, you're yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah. lock yourself up, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it might be different with a tattoo, maybe. I'm not sure if you do go wrong. Yeah, there's, there's, there's wrong. definitely yeah. failures there. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's definitely no. Yeah, definitely yeah. stop. Well, well I've, I've hacked your arm off. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> well, you should keep trying. But you can, yeah, you can have it back. Yeah. Just tell them that, right? Yeah, if you do a tattoo wrong, just say, well, my friend Ricky said there's no failure or any outcome. They might punch you, but you know, yeah. Not if he's taking their arm off. Well, that's true. I'll punch them with their arm. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh yeah, like surgery. That's always a big one. 
Well, yeah. No switch fingers failure. failure. Yeah. 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 If I take off the wrong ball, I'll just take the other one. There we go. <laughs> We've done it right the second time. There we go. Yeah. Definitely the outcome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, did, you, did you say that you um, yeah. say sometimes when you try to pick a pocket or something, you're trying a new way of doing it and it hasn't yeah. worked, you can still then go and yeah. continue to do it even though they're then aware of. What, yeah. what you've tried to do. I, I imagine yeah. doesn't that make you, you like you put your guard down because you've caught them. I would, I would feel like you'd be more aware of. Nah, the thing, you know what I mean. Tense up a bit. Yeah. Like, oh shit, be more protected. See, yeah, this no. is this yeah, is I the think thing, right? I fall into that category mm. of just being like, ah, I fucking caught you. Well, no, relax now. See, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I don't yeah. know if you two can remember. So yeah. when Ricky was at Baggy's wedding, he did a trick. Yeah. And all of us, I think there must have been fifteen of us there staring. And I'll never forget it because I remember at the end you did it. You did the big crescendo, whatever it was. I can't think what it was. And Baggy had appeared out of nowhere, and he was like, "Fuck!" And he was like, "What's up?" And he was like, "Fucking been watching that cunt all day. Still can't <laughs> yeah. figure it out." Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah I know. So he even right. told me how he does it. And I can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> what annoyed me the most about that is I because I, I, I don't I can't do magic but I'm fascinated by a lot of it I get down them TikTok holes of like how to do it yeah, yeah, and all that yeah, sort of stuff yeah. and I'm like I know how that's done but I didn't see any of it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it, yeah. I was still like, that's magic. No, it, it, that can't be how that trick's yeah. done. But that, that, yeah. that was genuinely yeah. yeah. magic. There, were, there yeah. was like there was like 10 or 15 of us stood there watching, and even you was like, look, watch, watch me do this. This is what I do. <laughs> yeah. Watch me do it. And everyone was like, <laughs> and even Ricky was like don't take your eyes off this yeah. this is how I do it <laughs> and everyone was like yeah yeah and it's like done and you're like but I just did it again yeah. do it again Ricky do it again yeah, <laughs> yeah there was, I remember um, pickpocketing some was like vape it was like this real big, like metal piece contraption. I remember that doing some pickpocketing on the day. That was at the ship, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. It turns out it was yeah. his pancreas. Yeah, yeah. Good job we didn't do that, that to you. Yeah, I know my long golf. Chubb's diabetic and he's got a pump. And oh, right, yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah, yeah. You just kill him. Yeah, it's just kill him. You have your page back, it's not a page. It's the inside of my stomach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it will be one day where I'll pickpocket something like maybe I'll pickpocket a burner phone or something like that. Yeah. Like, what's that? Uh, it's my fair wife, you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, have you, uh, have yeah. you ever, have you ever done similar to that and pulled out? I don't know something or knife. felt something. You think oh, I shouldn't grab that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, I've done like illicit substances like, and things yeah. like that. Not, um, I, I've not done like anything like that. But I do know a couple of pickpocketers that have done. They pulled out like a little bag of something. Um, <laughs> no, I'll pull that back. <laughs> yeah, I pulled out just like dirty handkerchiefs. Like, oh, oh God. That, yeah. God. That, um, that was a classic. Uh, my luck, that. Yeah. My yeah. luck. Half a ham sandwich. Like, oh, yeah. half a gram of coke. I sold it. Yeah. It was great. Ricky's like, oh, I've got a dirty handkerchief. One of my favourites though. This was like one of my biggest videos on TikTok. It, it did like 44,000 views in a night. And it was where I stole this man's uh, sunglasses, his tie, his phone, and his wallet. Yeah. But obviously, what I do is I put the sunglasses on. And I had sunglasses yes. on. So my, like, here's a like stick it out. But he's got no idea at all because like you're just completely in that light zone. So you know, like when um, quite often, like when you're driving. Yeah, yeah. Like you'll drive, right? But yeah. yeah so he doesn't. He's not allowed. Not allowed. He's 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 not allowed. It's easy to make people forget stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, the unconscious part of your brain like kicks in, and uh, yeah, it's really scary. Yeah. I think that one I watched, I can't remember. If, I'm sure it was you, but I, my memory's hazy, and I can't remember if it was. Um, but he pickpocketed. Pick I'll say he. But it might have been you, might not. Anyway, he pickpocketed this guy. It sounds like you because he did, just, he did <laughs> just the sunglasses say it. thing. <laughs> but he did the sunglasses thing. Yeah. But then he took his tie off him and then put the tie on. And oh, he, that's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you yeah. put his tie on. Yeah. He's like, oh, can I borrow your tie? And the guy's like. Yeah, yeah. Bastard! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was uh, at the old hall, yeah. So I had this guy, um, 
so sometimes I'll do it with when they're wearing a jacket, but sometimes when you wear a jacket, obviously their tie can get caught between the shirt. So this guy wasn't wearing a jacket and I, I took his tie off and I was doing this other thing. I was stealing everything else from his pockets. And then I gave him a deck of cards and said, look, just uh, give me random card. And he said, like, two of spades. I said, cool, give me a number between like 40 and 50, right? And then he's going like this. It's not going to happen. This is all him. Like, And they go, oh my God, yeah, that's going to be amazing this happens. And all the while, he's it's like a sucker trick because he's doing that. And I say, slow down now. Everybody count with you. And I'm then secret behind and putting on the tie. And at the end, I said, yes. Has it, have you done it? Have you done it? And he's like, no. I went, oh, it would have been good, wouldn't it, if that happened? He went, yeah, it would have been good. I went, well, I tell you what, you've been great, haven't you? He said, yeah. I said, look, let's give a little ripple for him. And they all do that. I said, look, I think you're a very smartly dressed man. He says, oh, thank you. That's very nice. I said, love your outfit. Well, I think you could do with one thing just to sharpen up a bit. He said, oh, what's that? I said, maybe a nice tie. He went, oh, okay, right, yeah. And that's <laughs> it. Yeah. He said, oh, thank you. I said, yeah, maybe a tie like this one. He went, oh, that would be nice, yeah. Right. <laughs> That's you. What's my time? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. I forgot I had a tie on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Cheers, cheers. It would have been like that. I would have thought I'd come open collar and be like, I've got one like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you be like, can I borrow your tie? You just go, oh, no, sorry, I've lost it. Yeah, <laughs> most probably. Some black yeah. lives yeah. are yeah. 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 Sometimes we'll do it where, um, so like Apple Watches, uh, on really I mean I'm crazy this like they're like one of the most expensive watches and stuff and they're the most easiest to steal because they just clip off because the elastic band for it yeah yeah uh, shh didn't say that right but anyway um, <laughs> the other thing was um, obviously I sometimes will steal people's watches and then put them on myself yeah so I've got like quite big chunky hands here it's quite hard sometimes like especially ladies watches they have the real fin straps yeah you just can't get them mm. on there but that's one of the things I like doing is steal a watch put it on there and then I'll finish with a trick and I'll place the coin and say what do you see and I've got their watch like there I say what do you see they say it's a 10p okay good I'm going to move it here a bit closer to the watch so what do you see now and they say 10p I said do you see anything else no I'm not seeing anything they're looking at yeah. their watch <laughs> yeah. because their eyes are fixated on the 10p they're like I don't see anything I went oh, okay cool and then I move it and put it on the watch and I say what what do you see now? I still see the coin, Ricky. Okay, I'll take it off. What do you see now? Ah! Like that, you know, so <laughs> it's just amazing, like what it's, you can get. But it's best yeah. as well when it's an Apple Watch and it's like a picture of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Why yeah. not picture me on your watch? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's magic. That. Yeah. It's really like magic. There was a trick I did like many years ago at a show, uh, which we did in Peterborough, and. Um, I stole. I, I got someone's watch, and part of the trick is that you put it in like um, I had this like pair of stockings, and you put it in the pair of stockings and you spin it. And I made a gag about relating to Back to the Future, like we go 88 miles per hour and that thing, and it smashes on the floor, and they go, you know, they go completely white, and then the, the big ending reveal is that it's in a loaf of bread, so they have to scoop it out, and then they <laughs> find it in there. But you keep the, the first bread. time yeah, so yeah. <laughs> he's he's like, the all he's thinking yeah. now is snacks. For the bread, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. snacks. <laughs> um, but for the first show that I did, I stole someone's like Fitbit, and I just felt it vibrating the whole time because obviously there was a bit of misdirection, and it was just vibrating in my pocket the whole time. So it's quite scary. I think his heart rate was going like that. So. <laughs> yeah, good mental, but, yeah, that's mad. Uh, of all yeah. things. <laughs> The the one thing I have never forgotten from your show, from Baggy's Wedding, classic me, isn't a trick. Oh, okay. Right. It's when you rolled this tie up and went, which one do we think is going to win? Oh, and then yeah, you yeah, dropped yeah. it and went, it's a tie. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. And we've that's, used yeah, that yeah, since. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that is one of the, the lead-ups to what I use to then steal a tie. Mm. Because what happens is you've already got both bits out ready, so you can then start to... And do it so. right. I yeah, see. Yeah, great game, right? Yeah, preemptive. Yeah, yeah. He was learning. He was yeah, learning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Circling back to the original Peeve. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kids, We've been on the old uh, <laughs> garden path there, haven't we? Yeah. Um, unsolicited advice. Yes. Yeah. Get rid of it. Send the fucker. Yeah. I think yeah. unless someone has categorically asked you for it. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. Should we have a little break, boys? Yes. Yeah, have two Time minutes. To get over nice. to the. Uh, National, National Treasures Treasure. Vault. Yeah. Yes. Just Ooh. quickly, I just need to say something. I meant to say it earlier, but I'll say it now. To Chris. Ricky is a magician. He's a lustrous man, yeah. Right. <laughs> I hate to break and any call, pull down any curtains for you. Magic isn't real. <laughs> I'm yet he's to not a, that. He's not he's not a, he's a magician, <laughs> not a wizard. We've there's had a wizard not, on. There's not much difference. We've had there? a wizard on the show. There is. I know you might get carried away. It's not like that. He hasn't <laughs> been to Hogwarts. He's going to make you disappear. He's going to make you disappear. Have well, you yeah. been to Hogwarts? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Well, that's yeah. that idea. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a little break. Yeah. We'll see you in a bit. 
Bye. Utopia Project. Hello, everybody. You look worse than me in the bath. Why don't you buy yourself a nice T-shirt? Jack, well, can they buy a nice T-shirt from our website? Yeah, they can buy T-shirts. They can buy hoodies. They can buy balaclavas. They can buy kimonos. Um, I think they've even got a rocket-shaped outfit. Um, <laughs> yeah. All sorts of stuff. Yeah? Yeah. All with the Utopian Planet logo smoshed right on the front of them. Yeah. yeah. I love smoshing my logo on stuff. <laughs> I do as well. Big smosh. Yeah. Get a wash. We also do shapes. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Triangle, yeah. circle. Yeah. I'll do that one. Love. Yay. Yeah, and we would love you if you bought our merch. We don't have kimonos, we don't have balaclavas, but we can get them, I yeah. guess. But we do have t-shirts and hoodies and all that with some slogans on it and some logos and all that jazz. Yeah. Just for a few quid and you support the podcast. So mm. why don't you stop looking like a big bag of shit and buy a decent t-shirt? Oh, we're doing ones with slogos now. Slogos, slogos. yeah. Slogos, yeah. Slogos, yeah. Slogos, yeah. Slogos, yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, like gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, get sick. yourself a gotcha, gotcha, gotcha t-shirt. Getcha, get getcha, getcha. getcha. Self, one of them. Yeah. Got a chameleon, innit? You big horrible cunt. Get a fucking t shirt. Mm. Yeah. Prick. <laughs> <laughs> Utopia Project. I'm with the National Treasures Vault. Yeah. yeah. Good boy. Part three of the show. Uh, for sure right. yes yeah. it is it's, yeah. a, it's in a bit still of it still got the fireworks on in the background from New Year because they hadn't sorted out that <laughs> I forgot about that bit yeah. and the lights are still up but never mind <laughs> that's, 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 we'll that's have to set them down, down at some point yeah um <laughs> yeah, so for those who haven't watched or listened before, what we do in the National Treasures Vault is our guest will bring a, a ware or a thing or something or other and say this is a national treasure. We fucking love it. And we say yes or no. Basically, yeah. that's the plan in here, Jack. So far, I don't think we have said no yet. We're too polite, really. Yeah. Are we? yeah. Hey. Oh wait, no! Uh, thing he bought. What did Jimmy bring? He brought some in and then changed, ba- he he changed brought, it for he brought, the. He brought bike wells, but yes. they were already in. Yeah. So, so technically, it wasn't a no. It was just a try again. Yeah. Um, try again. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then so, he brought a nose waxing thing. So, so Ricky. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So are you ready for National Treasure? Yeah. yeah. What you got? Drum roll, please, gentlemen. Are you ready? It is, Mister Tom DeLong. Oh, oh, cheeky. Oh, that's oh, really cheeky. Cheeky. Now, I've, I've already seen you got Travis Barker yes. you know, as part of the clan. So, yeah. Blink-182, uh, or more importantly, him as a national treasure. So, can I explain why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Cool. No, that's it. And yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah go on. Um, so, also, yeah, so, as I mentioned already, but on this famous skateboarding, right, kid? So, as a kid, play guitar. Uh, I just started learning drums now. So, yeah. saw some of your gear, gear for music. Sponsor the podcast, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, absolutely fell in love as a kid um, with the amazing Blink One Eight Two, and Tom DeLonge was like my idol, hero, absolute hero of mine as a kid. Um, just playing guitar. Well, I don't. He can play guitar quite well, but I think he makes it out that he can't in certain songs. Yeah. Right. Like, um, what's my age again? But yeah, just fell in love with him as a kid, and like now that Blink One Eight Two have come back in the modern age, and uh, yeah, it just makes me feel like. A cool dad, I think. So, yeah, it's very um, nostalgic. Yeah. yeah, so <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna. I think I'm, I might go on the website, and go order to the stars T-shirt like his. Yeah, start wearing back to hat, uh, back to front hats again. But yeah, absolutely love him and uh, everything Blink and um, Boxcar Racer as well. Yes. And yeah, and Austin Airwaves. So yeah, I love him. Yeah, he's great. Um, I I used to be a. I was a. I was a Mark and Travis guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so went down 44. that route, plus four, yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, Mark's knob is broken up blink. And uh, now, yeah. we went to see him last year, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, two. Yeah, uh, we were... Uh, Birmingham. Uh, Birmingham. Yeah, oh, yeah, Birmingham. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, phenomenal. Yeah. And I, I really adore him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. he, uh, he kind of came back and went, yeah, I was a prick. Yeah. And they went, yeah, yeah. he was a prick. Yeah. And he went... Should we do it again? And they're like, yeah. 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 And I'm like, you know what? The fact that he's just gone, now I was I was the kind of the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I do like That's as well that he plays on that uh, for the live show, he plays on sort of being a bit rogue. Yeah. I don't know yeah, if it was yeah. the same when you saw him, yeah, I assume yeah. it was. Yeah. And it was very much like I felt like Mark was kind of reining him in all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Watch, yeah. watch what fucking Tom says again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just feels to me like, so I saw them at the O2 last year, cried my eyes out, like, they did the big intro and then kicked off with Anthem Part 2, which is, like, my all-time favourite track. And I just remembered, like, crying, going, like... Because I remember seeing them at Reading as they were starting to, like, split up. And you could tell, like, Tom's voice was terrible. It just seemed yeah. like this ain't going to happen. <clears throat> they split up, and I thought, I will never see, like, the classics yeah. um, from, like, anywhere of the state played. And obviously, uh, when they must have done it for your tour as well, when they played, like, 
aliens exist uh, and loads of classic ones, like going away to college is like fucking hell like I, that's like 20 years old I would never have seen that yeah. so like the fact that like <coughs> just made me feel like a kid again is um, yeah, yeah. Right. I, I, cried, I cried twice <coughs> yeah, yeah like I, I'm yeah. in your gang mate like yeah, yeah. I was well emotional oh yeah, yeah. yeah. like it, it was surreal really yeah 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 like the, the, it was, they played one more time at the end <laughs> yeah. and they played it was was it Adam's song oh yeah yeah Mark yeah. went into yeah. this big spiel about like basically he, yeah, wrote, he, he, does, went, yeah. he, he was like in a real fucking dark time when he wrote it mm. and it's sweet yeah. that pulled him out of this dark time and then he goes on to say um you guys are the reason that I'm still here because obviously he had cancer and everything. And he's like, you guys have pulled me out. And I was just like, oh, Mark. I'm At the time, yeah, I was all like, I don't know what I did, but I mean, you're welcome, Mark. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No problem, yeah. Mark. It's fine. Yeah, because yeah, like Travis, like he had a plane crash, didn't he? Yeah. yeah and like, like destroyed half of his body and toes. And then um, Mark had cancer. Tom obviously, yeah. Uh, Kind of broke got abducted around. by aliens. Yeah, yeah, that's true. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but what I didn't realise though was since this, so obviously Tom, there was a there's a couple of stories. Like, I think if you go on YouTube, you can watch um, Zane Lowe do an interview around the house of them. You sent back. me that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. phenomenal. Uh, it's really good quality. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there was a point where Mark talks about where near the end of the splitting up, um, Tom was talking about he turned up at the table and like it was just his manager and him and Tom wasn't talking and there was like a massive divide. And I used to think, oh, what, what twat, right? Doing that, yeah. right? And obviously, <coughs> since coming back, I've learned that, obviously, I mean, it's very savvy what he does because obviously Angels and Airwaves, he's got the To The Stars business. He actually directs movies as well. Yeah, yeah. He directed as well, Taking Back Sunday as well, one of their music videos. Yeah. Right. And uh, obviously, yeah, proper, proper cool guy. So he's like someone I think, I wish I could grow up and be like him. He just seems really cool. Yeah. Um, but interestingly, ironically, like Stay Together For The Kids, if you remember that song. One of my all-time favorites, just apart from guitar. Um, he's obviously divorced, and then obviously he's now remarried. So yeah, he didn't stay together for the kids, did they? Really? No. But, hey, I feel anyway, like yeah, mis- misinterpreting <laughs> yeah. that as stay together for the kids was them lot staying together for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> I, did you see when he he when he was full UFO? Yeah. On, was it Joe Rogan? He was on. Oh, Joe Rogan was just yeah. never properly that. saw yeah, it. Yeah, he was oh. like, "There's fucking spaceships, bro." And he's getting all these <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. YouTube videos out, and he 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 he's he'd been involved in like the White House and shit now. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he went to like, the White House. He's like uncovered yeah. genuine. Like the re- one of the reasons that you know, like they released, was it last year? Yeah. Like about like the, there is his Martian, the thing, no, yeah. alien bloke. It's because of Tom DeLonge and his yeah. company. That's what they do. Yeah. He's like, really? high, yeah. yeah. Is that what's called to the stars? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've never really thought about that. Yeah. 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 So that so that company like they they sell like merchandise like t-shirts yeah, and uh, books it's, it's as well. It's very kits prestige as well. yeah. worldwide, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So like, oh, we do t-shirts and merchandise. We do books. We we, we we find aliens and also we direct films. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like bows and hose. The yeah. classic package, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Because Angels and Airways like were, were really great. They didn't get like a. I remember the stories of like Reading Festival. Them getting booed off. Yeah, you know, because yeah. like he went a bit too kind of spacey. But I mean, it's quality like guitaring that he does. But um, yeah, yeah, quality guy. I do think all very odd. Re- just reference the Blink Circles. The whole Travis selling is. Have you seen he's selling all of his bloodstained stuff? Yeah, that's, that's weird. Yeah. Oh. He's spe- oh. his trousers, cooking his trousers, his six, shoes. Six grand, I think they went wow. for. Yeah, yeah. Or for charity or just no, like, no, no just for his back pocket, for his, mate. <laughs> Cool, yeah. Covered can, in his blood. You wow. can tell he's involved with the Jenners now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, business. Yeah. But yeah, he's done that. Like, I can kind of get the like because he sells like the drum skins as well. Yeah, yeah like I can kind of that makes sense to me. Yeah, but like his clothes. Yeah. Yeah, his, tra- his van were on that. there for about four and a half grand, weren't they? Yeah, wow. made his own website. It was just like Travis's stuff. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, like you said, the drum skins. Like it'd be cool to have, like I'm a Travis fan. Like having a drum skin. Yes, it's got his blood on it, but it's not like a weird amount of blood. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an yeah. acceptable yeah. amount. Yeah, of blood like around. he's played the drums. He's you know because it was just like a, a spatter like, in it. Playing, mm. and it's got blood on it. But the, it, it, his trousers are from. He actually like split his hand and like broke all his fingers. Yeah, and it was like literally they're like drenched in blood. Yeah. Oh, how did he do that? Like just from it in the side of the drum. The oh, way, the proper, way he plays, he, he's yeah, prone insane. to smashing his hands oh, on yeah. the side. Jesus. I spoke to Buggy yeah. about it. Apparently, it's because he has his snare tilted really far forward. Yeah. Oh, so like the back of it is quite high. Forward. So when he's coming down to hit it, he has to get like a down angle on it. Mm. And if he yeah. doesn't, he's just cracking his hands on the end. So I, I, I like. Um, so I mentioned earlier on, I've got like an electric drum kit now because I'm really from my youth. And um, I had like this portable, <clears throat> it was like a Yamaha DD65, like little portable machine where right. you could put it in like a snare drum kind of stand 
but it wasn't really it was like all everything was here so it wasn't really much you could do so I thought I'm going to buy an electric drum kit and then really learn how to do it and I thought I'd sign up to drum yeah and I thought I'm going to have a look at like Blink 182 and just see what their drum tabs like and I was like fucking hell like oh. Travis Barker like <laughs> He's trying to learn fucking what's my idea, idea, man. Like, fuck, I can't do, it. Yeah. can't do this. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> he started as a... Because I'm a... I mean, I've got him tied on my chest. I'm yeah. a fucking nerd. But, like, he started as a, a marching yeah. band. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Drummer. Um, and he did that. And then, yeah, just the stuff he's done is just phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Like, obviously, I'm in a band with Baggy now. I and, thought you could say you're in a band with Travis Barker. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, 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 I'd sack Baggy yeah. in a fucking heartbeat yeah. for Travis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But, like, he's been, like, obviously, trying. we're trying to push our limits a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And he's been, like, I've been trying to, like, just come up with non-basic stuff for it. And he's like, I just don't know how fucking Travis does it. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I want to do this, but how the fuck does he do that? Yeah. It's like, like the, mm-hmm. the new record, like... Um, the track more than you know he's, he's actually using double bass for like the first time and it's just yeah. like fucking like like just constantly pushing the limits of everything it's like yeah. that live was fucking sick that, yeah. that like when it yeah. just that double double kick comes in and yeah. you just like it just hits you yeah, yeah. I was, I'm nearly crying now, now that one yeah well I, I think you see like I so, love you more than you'll ever know yeah. that one yeah. 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 yeah yeah give me Tom's whiny voice I know what fucking <laughs> yeah. song you're talking about yeah, yeah. <laughs> 17 for me on the new album is like oh I, I think I could cry at that and if they do, they're doing the tour aren't they next year I think are they, they're at Reading Festival again? they're going to be at Reading head, headline this year I might have to get year. tickets for that mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Really the, guy, oh yeah I like that uh, cynical album Cynical, cynical but, uh, with, but no, it's the song Bought, on it. The, board, uh, the California album yeah, California oh, yeah, yeah. album yeah, Bought yeah. to Left Cynical I like other than that I was never a massive like pop punk I like yeah. my like idols and stuff Kick Peachy and that's a bit oh, more Kick, I just right. listen to 999 is it yeah. like that yeah Kick Peachy are good man it's, yeah. like, it's like it's like gritty and it's I feel like Slaves yeah we've seen them yeah. haven't we yeah. we've seen them live uh, yeah. at um, Boomtown that was good yeah but uh, yeah the pop punk I, I could never you kind, of, you kind of missed that era, I think, didn't you? Maybe. You're in that weird like pocket of it, like when it kind of faded away to when it's kind of come back. Yeah, like, a little bit. I wasn't over you're, keen on the whiny vocals, personally. You're, you're like, how old are you now? 28. 28, yeah. 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 So it's kind of on the decline of when that was yeah. Yeah. a real thing I know thing a lot of people into. that were in yeah. it, and it was, like, it was one of those bands where if, if you were in it, it was like uh, a cult thing. It yeah, was like yeah. they, people people didn't just oh, like they're on the emos. Loved, it's an identity. Yeah. Loved them. It was yeah. an identity yeah. for a lot of years. Mad because I was a massive emo, but yeah. I never. It was never like pop punk. I just it was something I never. Yeah, never got into a resonated them. with. You know, it was more metal. Yeah. I was around and stuff like that. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, the, I um, do like that. Just um, with, you, album. with you saying, yeah. was it Slaves you said about a second ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit like. Uh, have, you, yeah. have you heard any of Idols? Sorry, the soft play now. Yeah, soft play. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have a listen to Idols. Yeah. Very, very similar to Slaves. Oh, Idols. Oh, yeah, awesome. yeah. I, yeah. Arguably, in my opinion, slightly better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. think there's yeah. a yeah. lot in it. It's rubbish. Uh, what, well, Idols? Idols. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, it's real not good. Oh, um, no, was oh. that? I, I think they've just come off that. I think they went up real quick into that sort of like getting like hits within the cult mm. of... Like the under- and now they've all just gone a bit. And mad. also, yeah. the whole thing was, you know, like the whole thing was anti-establishment and this, that, and the other. Fuck the Tories, X, Y, Z. And it gets to the point where they're making that much money and having that much success that they're in that gang now. You've always oh, said right, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can't, yeah, yeah. you can't sing about fuck nah. the system while also charging people ninety pounds to come to a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And I think they've got a bit too the, like I don't know, like we're, we're experimental and also like. We're pushing the next level. What was the last good album? Yeah. Is, it all, is it Ultra Mono Slaves or is that? No, that's Idols. Ultra that's that's Idols. Idols. Yeah. Yeah. Ultra Mono album then, because that's one where it starts with War, doesn't it? Yeah. Ultra Mono album, worth a listen. Very, very good. Yeah. They're, all, they're also, the like they all look insane. In one of them, a dentist or something. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, right, right, nice. He yeah. always comes out wearing dresses and playing bass. He, well, no, he's he's yeah. insane. These days he wears Probably dresses, but he, he originally just wore pants. Oh yeah, yeah just legs, literally just yeah. Yeah. white wide fronts. Big handlebar moustache, long hair, and just wide fronts. And he's there like, nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And give it the bigger, and then mm. he's like, right, thanks, lads. I'm off back to the surgery on Monday. <laughs> oh, I've got, uh, I've got dentists to be doing. doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, here's some ego. You can say yay or nay on these, all right? So this is some of my eclectic taste. Then, so um, Purgatory, the narrator. You know, Ooh, it's quite heavy one that one. No, 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 no. Um, okay, so a bit of Angels and Airways. Uh, Action Adventure. It's a bit of pop punk band that one. Kick a PC nine nine nine. Yeah. Bear Tooth. Bear to, that rings a bell. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, hang on, what's the most recent one? The Architects. 
I, I like a bit of like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, rings a bell. Can't really think of much that I've heard you of. Yeah. Like sad acoustic people, really. No, I'm, not, I'm all over the place, man. He's always like, he's, have you heard this depressive yeah. acoustic bloke? That's all he says to me. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of like sad acoustic stuff. That's my main priority. <laughs> my main priority. But it's, it's a weird. I'm never like in between. I'm always to the extremes of whatever mood I'm in. Yeah. yeah. So like, I'm very much like our first dance at the wedding is like Jack Johnson. Nice. Big fan of Jack Johnson. Mm. Um. I like like Jules Holland. Yeah. Like like funky solely, like Blues Brothers kind of thing. I think that's fucking sick. Yeah. And then like if I'm in a bit of a like yeah, I want to get angry mood. Like I'd be like idols or something, so yeah, I can yeah, like yeah. fancy stomping on people's heads. Yeah, like, yeah. There's no like, there's no middle ground for me, or it's like sad acoustic. I'm gonna go top myself music. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It's it's mad. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that. Sorry. But yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. It ain't gonna happen. I just like you know you know when they say about oh yeah, I like to put this song on and look out of a rainy window and pretend I'm in the music yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah. Well, I've got like the gym music for me is like Electric Cowboy. I'm a big fan of Electric Cowboy. Yeah, big fan of Electric Cowboy. Yeah, 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 nice one. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Bring Me the Horizon. Huge fan of them. Uh, I grew up on like Funeral for a Friend as well. So yeah. during the yeah. YT Skate era, that was like. Uh, I think they even played there. I think. I'm sure, they might have played there one year. But yeah, I love that sort of thing. So. They heard of uh, I Prevail. Oh yeah, yeah. Fucking oh, love I Prevail. Is that that bloke yeah. who sings with no mic? Is that it? No, that's, no, like that's, that's Slaughter, neck, that Slaughter to Prevail. Is that someone like that? That's the guy with the net. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Alex, the terrible. And he just oh, he, he just screams it, doesn't he? He, he doesn't, he doesn't have, yeah. have a mic anymore. He's just on the stage and he just goes, whoa, 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 and everyone's like, "Fucking yes, Alex, you're terrible." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mad. Yeah. This is mad. Like yeah. a massive festival. Sounds terrible. It. It, 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 it's, it, it's one of those ones where it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I've never it. been a fan of that. If I'm honest, I like some of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's on my first screamo gig in Norwich. It was a oh. little little place uh, called uh, the Waterfront. Yeah, quality gig. Yeah, I saw Feed the Rhino. And oh, I've yeah. never seen Screamo before or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. Straight like, from Greenfield we'll to see, that. Yeah, we'll see yeah. what this is about. Like <laughs> <laughs> we had, uh, it come on because it was such a small gig. Like, well, to be fair, there was two. Um, I knew something was going wrong when the warm up band they got kicked out because they were climbing on the ceiling. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. It was like Spider Man. Yeah. Like, what are you doing up there? You should be on the stage. And it was like, ah, fuck. You'd have thought yeah. Spider Man would be a headliner, really, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You think, Support. but uh, yeah. Apparently, when you swing upside down on the uh, on the cables and that, you get told to go home. Yeah, uh, which you did. But uh, <laughs> Peter Rano, come on. I was like, okay, so, but you know. And then because the gig was like as big as our podcast studio, like they were just playing in the crowd, which is cool. But they're like, it come up to you like this, and he's playing his guitar, like, <laughs> and I was just like. It's good. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Good job, a lot mate. of stuff Keep with going. that I uh, find yeah. I, I, I prefer the gigs of that than the actual recordings yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. you can't really chill out there's not really much time when yeah. it's real that heavy Yeah, it's like there's not you much. can't be sat in traffic like <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. this bit yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 but the, 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 the time yeah. of them shows yeah. it's just incredible yeah adrenaline yeah. and everything yeah. going you off you need to just smell like other people's sweat and jump around and shit yeah and the mosh pits and everything Everything. So it was I good. know I did yeah. that. I feel real old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cringy. <laughs> Jump around, get down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's three. <laughs> um, I think my first ever gig. I don't know if it was my first ever gig, but my first, the, the earliest one I can remember is Send More Paramedics. Oh, yeah, wow, the Travs yeah. that was. Yeah. They were a zombie punk thrash band. What was oh, weird was because they all had like costumes. Yeah, they was all setting up, and they, if you had to point it out, I wouldn't realise. And you, they was walking through the crowd to set everything up, but obviously because they weren't in costume, nobody realised nobody had a yeah, clue yeah, yeah. and there's like setting everything up and testing it and everything else like that nobody had Tested. the slightest inkling oh, of what yeah, was going yeah. on and then they just walked off through this little door and then five minutes later these zombies came out of it and was just like walking through the crowd they were so they they really real scary though, they, they had such a niche concept yeah, 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 there's yeah, only so yeah. many albums you can release yeah, it's like yeah, an apocalyptic yeah, like zombie that, it's punk. that very specific yeah, yeah. very yeah. different yeah. Yeah. there's only so many songs you can be like them I eat brains them yeah. and uh, Evil Scarecrow. Evil Scarecrow. They're, they're still going. going. They're, still, yeah. they're, they're yeah. quite yeah. big. Wow. That's mad. But they, they have a bit more of a broad there. They're not. They haven't boxed themselves into a topic, have they? No. Yeah. Just like uh, like dead yeah. people, I guess. But like, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I was nine for my first gig. I went to a, a tribute band to the Stone Roses. Oh, that's nice. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Body warmer was a cool, dude. Yeah. 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 I didn't have a bucket. I just had a body And I was like, I'm too young for this. It's shit. Where's Noddy? Yeah. Make way for Noddy. Noddy. What's your best gig then? Oh, best gig you ever been to? Ooh. Fucking 
Oh, knife party was pretty good. Oh, knife party. Oh, knife party. Oh, the drink place. You weren't at knife party. I saw some of knife no, party. No, I was at knife party. I saw some of you it. You was comatose in the tent. <laughs> no, it was a shed. <laughs> right, but I saw some of it yeah. at some point. But yeah, I'm sure I must have done because I remember I, being like, that's good. I think there's there's two that resonate with me. One was Green Day, Milton Keynes National Bar, oh, yeah, 2005. Yeah. It was the second ever gig I ever went to. Yeah. 65,000 people. Wow. Fucking phenomenal. The second one is probably Steve Ioki at Creamfields. Oh, oh, that was sick. Yeah, that did you do the cake thing as well? No, we, ah. we, we was that exploring. Was great. We went to Creamfields and you was, you used to be, it was the first year I came with you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you used to be a main stage all day rock out, weren't you? Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. nah, like, let's have a look around. I said, I'm, I'm not doing that. So let's have a walk, walk about. There's like a Bacardi there's a, it was a, it was a bar this big, yeah, yeah. It was a bar. Smirnoff yeah, yeah. was that one. Yeah, yeah, Smirnoff, sorry. And um, we went in, and I was like, let's have a look in here. And then it had a sign, didn't it? And it had like DJs playing on this little, like, it was like pallets, like yeah, a yeah. little music. chalkboard of who's playing yeah. and what. And it was like, oh, I can't yeah. remember who it was, it was someone, and then it said, up oh, next, yeah. Steve Ioki. Uh, real small it was like yeah. a real tiny thing you're just like yeah, yeah who's next Steve Oki and you're like reading it like he, hang on a minute he's well but he's massive yeah. like, it was like yeah, that yeah. must be a joke but we've got nothing to lose let's hang about there was like, nobody in here either nobody. it was empty yeah and then the next thing we know this guy finished and it got busier and busier didn't it mm. and literally Steve Oki came out what? and there was about we was about 30 close 40 people to there, yeah. and we was on the, the thing on his, like, on his desk with his, yeah. his pioneers high five wow. him and like yeah, yeah. Yeah. he dropped a load of like exclusive tracks didn't he and he, he had a bigger set later on, but it was just phenomenal. I thought the whole place was going to fall to bits. It was all yeah. made out of pallets. And it was just jumping it was all like down. trampolines on it. The yeah. security was like holding all the fucking Jeez. speakers. Like yeah, that. it was, it was a proper like wow. basement party. It's like Fred again. He's doing sort of yeah. stuff like that, isn't he? Which is like mental. Yeah, that Third, was good. Shaggy. Oh, that Shaggy was, yeah. was fantastic. And, it, and not because yeah. the experience. There's a whole story. Me and Chris went on the piss with Shaggy, basically. Nice. Yeah. 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 His was performance really good, was yeah, incredible. Yeah. Really? He's done oh, this yeah. whole reggae um, Frank Sinatra covers oh, album right, yeah, with yeah. Sting. Okay. Yeah, people. Yeah, Sting right, yeah. And he had a full live band and it was like, yeah, it was yeah, real, just tick all the man. boxes for me. Mm. Wow. That, the whole thing, man. We was like backstage passes, drinking their Hennessy, having his Ferrero Rochers. Went back wow. to the Hilton with them. We were like chilling. Because, yeah, that was like a weird sort of yeah, idea wow. to come to you like that, yeah. The actual gig yeah. was good, but that's definitely... Yeah, good. man. What wow. about you, uh, I was just thinking about this. I haven't been, to, many, really, I haven't have been to an awful lot. I think probably of ones that I can remember off the top of my head... Probably Skindred at Boomtown was really good. Oh, oh well, yeah, that was that great. One. That, that, that was, was good, very, yeah. very good. Um, what was the other one I just thought of? Um, what the fuck was it? I can't, you have to come back to me. Um, <laughs> Enter Shikari, something like that? Enter Shikari's all right. Oh, if you're not talking, talking about, like, I got a bit, Enter Shikari got a bit much for me. No, like, I like the music and I thought it would have been good, but I don't know. I, I, think, I was there drunk as well. That always ruins oh, his experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, well, the first time. No, that wasn't Enish Curry. No, that was another night. Um, no, th th when I went to watch <laughs> Enish Curry, I've ruined your night, mate. It was just no, it's just that it was at the engine shed. That okay. uh, oh, that right, what yeah. was supposed to be like a three D thing. I got sick and went home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was oh, at the engine yeah, shed. It was really shit, wasn't it? It was like a it was all, it all failed on the base night. Yeah, it's supposed oh. to be really good, but anyway. Um, so I got confused because engine shed the Enish Curry was at the same place, and I thought it was two. Anyway. And Shikari was a bit much. There was loads of like lasers and lights, and it the sound for me was a bit bad. Yeah, and it just yeah. got really in my head, and I was like, "This is too much." Like, too there was too much going on. Like mm. it was like they'd just gone right. And Shikari's on now. Turn everything to full. Yeah, press all the buttons. Yeah, yeah and guys, just oh. all of the lights were on, and it was strobe. Oh, and it's you know, it's like yeah. that tinny. It's in fucking like in your head. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, I'd, I'm not. I had to put my sunglasses on. I was like, oh, I'm, oh, I'm not keen on this. There's just yeah. a, like, <laughs> it was just <laughs> assault on my head. I, I wouldn't know. I was too busy singing to know if the sound was bad. Yeah, I was too busy <laughs> hearing my own voice. Yeah, there was forty quid a ticket to just scream. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> yeah. there was that or. Um, I don't know what you think, Tal, but um, it, either of the occasions that I went to it is rock orchestra, oh. really good. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, there was. I mean, it, it depends on your vibe, but it's it's 
obviously like an orchestra it's a full orchestra but they do they've got like guitarists and drummers and a guy playing the what like a xylophone oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all dressed in like de- I don't know if it's a, this, is there a different name for the wooden Glockenspiel, one Glockenspiel is the yeah, Glockenspiel yeah, yeah. Um, but there's a guy playing like xylophone they're all dressed in like skulls and shit there's oh. a big skull on the stage they're all like oh, wow. Day of the Dead esque Wow. Um, but there's like a violin section and all sorts of stuff but they do oh. like ACDC and a Shikari uh, not any Shikari um Metallica. 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 Oh, nice, yeah. Um, yeah. Red Against yeah. Machine. Red Against the Machine, wow. loads of shit like that. System of, system of, system of a Down is yeah, what I was trying to say. Guns and Roses. Yeah, 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 Guns and Roses, loads of shit. It's really, really good. They're not yeah. like massive, massive, but they yeah. are, I think they are very big. They do like world tours and stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, it seems like the, they're uh, a very yeah. acquired taste, but they are they are good. You, yeah. can te- you can tell, like the last time we went, I think they changed the front guy. And the first time I went, the front man was very much, you could tell he was like, I've brought all these orchestra people into the rock world and see what I like. And it's really good. And I'm sure they changed him for a different guy who was clearly a Tory <laughs> right. trying to be a rock guy. Right, okay. And it yeah. was like, it, it, his name was like, he had a double barreled surname. Oh, right, that yeah. was the first red flag. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, yeah. you earn too much money to be here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but. Um, Don't step to me about yeah. alternative. He might as well have been doing it. I'm one of the gang. Yeah. Yeah. Do my tax return. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I've seen this, um, like a trans version, like, in there, like an Ibiza cream or like, I love all my yeah. trans music and stuff, and they yeah. do all the classic. You know, like yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing sky, something yeah. like that. Yeah. What, no, about, what about yourself? A um, couple, I think. Um, so, Don Broco is brilliant. I oh, fucking love Don Broco. Oh, yeah. sick. Oh, you always take piss out of that, don't I you? I request Don Broco at, <laughs> at Sugar Cubes every time I go in. That oh. and... Um, you call Don, Don Broco. I call, uh, to annoy Courtney, who I work with, she's a massive Don Broco fan. Yeah. And every time they come on, I, I go, oh, is this that... Uh, is this Donald Bronco? Donald Bronco. Okay, is it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I always yeah. request uh, from Sugar Cubes. There's two songs. I text them every time I go in. It's what the first one is Shania Twain, Man I Feel Like a Woman. Oh, yeah. Which yeah, is yeah. clearly not suitable for a metal bar, but yeah, yeah, I request yeah. it. And the second one is Donald Bronco, the Duh 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 song. Because oh, I don't know what it's called. They never play it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they uh, they were really good. Um, it was a really good experience, and obviously he, he's he was a great front man. I had a massive opportunity to go see them at the Royal Albert Hall with the they do their whole orchestra. Missed that, but weirdly enough, like um, I went to Reading Festival this year. Sam Fender was really good. Bowls were just like fucking amazing. I've like, heard they're supposed to be like surprisingly good. Yeah, man. really good. And it was like really dancey music, fun. But I think one of my favourites was um, went to Paris to see Twenty One Pilots when they first come out. Oh, oh nice. yeah, oh, like thick band. so. I'm not like as much fan of them as now, but like when they first come out, it was like wow. These have you seen these like two guys? Like one's a drummer, and like during like the um, one of their songs, I think it's Trees. They came out, and I've never seen this ever happen. It's like chills talking about it now, but they got like two boards, stuck it onto the crowd, so the crowd was holding it. Oh, sorry guys, holding it like that. <laughs> and then um, they stood on one. The drummer was banging the drums, and then they both did it with like confetti, and it was just like fucking amazing. Like, and it was in Paris, and like this like big chandelier was shaking. It was just like such a cool experience. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That, really good. You've just reminded me of two that right. I think of. Just, <laughs> oh, that's we're off. Got too excited twist, there. Twist, yeah. Yeah. Just twist it. twist it. There we go. Twist it. Keep going. Keep going. About there somewhere. Here you go. A little bit more. A little bit more. That'll do. That'll do you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Dal. The two that I just thought of um, that I completely forgot about Idols. That was that, good. That was a oh, sick no, gig. Yeah, yeah. I really liked that because. I think, we all I think, turned into kids. Uh, yeah, because we, we were stood at the back when we first got there. It was like, all right, just going to have a pint. Because it was like midweek, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was like, all right, just going to have a pint. We're driving home. Nothing mad. And like even Baggy was like, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to sit back here, watch it. Pit ain't for me. I'm not going in the pit. The thing is, the thing like, is I'm, just gonna take, I'm just going to take it steady. Chill out. We're, don't worry about it. it as soon I as they started, it. It was, we'd move around the side. And he was literally, he might as well have just gone. I'm getting bored here. <laughs> yeah, he did no, that, you know, the Homer Simpson in a hedge. Yeah, he did yeah. that with people. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. just yeah. smiling yeah. and going, the pit has taken me. Yeah, he just went, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, we just looked at each other. We're going. By the car. <laughs> yeah. I remember, uh, like, like, one of the biggest, like, concerts was, like, uh, Reading Festival, like, 2004. Darkness was headlining, which was brilliant. They came out with, like, 
be like the grade two is like fuck cunt and everything like that I was like oh my god oh my god like I'm 15 it's amazing you know um, yeah. but like Taking Back Sunday were playing like their like first or second album and this was like when the first time I saw like a front man swinging the mic around I thought this is really cool but we were so close to the front I'd never experienced like being in a pit where like literally you were so stuck you couldn't move oh you have to like, like, oh, like oh, ride the wave god. don't you yeah and I remember like being like like a Michael Jackson smooth criminal leaning over <laughs> like this and I was like I can't move but like you were safe but it just felt really weird because everyone was just so stuck together I do, that was such a weird experience yeah, yeah. I do like with <gasps> like at Idols and stuff and like at me- uh, metal gigs heavier gigs I yeah. do I mean admittedly I've never been really to much else but with the heavier gigs I find that people look after each other yeah, a lot more yeah, it's yeah. very yeah. much like a, if someone goes down a lot of people are instantly like wait yeah. it's because most up, people then we carry on yeah. aren't like, off their fucking nut yeah. Yeah. Like, because they did like, do you remember what who did we see that was at Creamfields in a tent oh, and about um, 19 people just toppled over on me and yeah. I was like my legs Trump, are going to break trumpet like, was it Timmy Tim name Timmy Trumpet Oh, Tim Trump, something yeah. like that. No, something maybe like not that. him. I do something. It don't really matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, there was all. People went down. I mean, you can imagine the general clientele of Creamfields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, right? yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. There's an awful so, lot of powders. There's a, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of really yeah. fucking sound people who go to them things. I'm yeah, not going to yeah, touch yeah. everybody the same, but there is a a, a large. Yeah, I, of I people. think it's that sort of music that yeah. attach, yeah. Uh, attracts it's, predominantly that sort of person. Dangerous in a metal gig. Yeah, yeah. I would say it's like it's like when we went to Dogfest, didn't we? And it was just at the Glider Drome in Boston, and there was loads of like proper punks there. And we, I, I said to my dad, I was like, I feel safer here than I did walk in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah. that's that tells you something, mm. doesn't it? It's that makes you know racist yeah. to all the immigrants, mate. That's what it does. No. But what, what he was saying was, you nearly died, didn't you? Yeah, more or less. Oh. Yeah. No, it was it, literally everyone just toppled, and it sent one person after the other, and I seemed to be at the bottom of this. And there was just the sheer pressure of people. And I don't know what had happened. My leg had bent in a funny way, but all the pressure was going down on my leg on the side. I'm like, legs don't bend that way. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. going you away. You screaming. I was, I was that close to being yeah. like, in a minute, I'm going to feel it just pop. Yeah, And yeah. my leg's going to be oh. off on the side. Luckily, it didn't. But I, I was, was just yeah. fucking pulling on yeah, you. Yeah. Which probably made it worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop pulling! Stop it! Stop it! Well, I, I got to a point this year, like, me and my wife went to Reading Festival because we wanted to see... Um, so Foles were playing there and I've got the tickets for her to see Sam Fender but I walked away from it because I know we talked about like being old and doing this now Yeah, I walked away from Reading this year going oh shit I'm old now like I now got a daughter I'm like yeah so everyone I saw there like the, the costume that you wear there the attire now was bucket hat no t-shirt and just shorts like yeah. that's all the guys oh, were wearing and a, um, yeah, yeah that's it yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought yeah. where the fuck what, what the fuck happened to like people like me like I'm turning up like this elder emo like you know my Blink 182 t-shirt there's like hardly any of us I'm like mm. what happened yeah, yeah. I'm just I feel old now so yeah, yeah so Ricky turns gonna... up with his wallet on a chain yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, mad. My, my stud belt yeah, yeah. 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 nails painted yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad because like them, them like playlists now with Blink, Green yeah. Day, all that sort of stuff. That's dad rock now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, fuck off it. It's not. It's still yeah, relevant. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and then they, I say they... to people, I went to see Green Day. Like I'm going. I've got Green Day tickets for this year. Yeah. And I'm like, I saw them in 2005 or 2004, one of the two. But then you're like. 19 years ago yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, yeah. they're your yeah. new 2005 you're like that was like that was, it was yeah, long ago, ago. Yeah, but they're, they're yeah. new, 19 like, years they're your new like ACDC Velvet Revolver yeah. all them kind of yeah, bands yeah. aren't they like when your dad yeah. was like oh back in my day we had this and they play yeah. ACDC on vinyl yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. you're like you're getting the CDs out like put this on <laughs> I've got a CD yeah. player dad what <laughs> <Yeah>. Spotify yeah <laughs> well, same oh. with like Blink like I remember years ago like did my paper round and like you'd have the, the CD player and every yeah. time you go down a curl your bike it'd freeze and scratch it yes. but a blink that was probably like my all time favourite last year when I cried but I remember looking around at that same point and seeing like kids like like so young before like Enema of the State and Take Off Your Pants and Jacket album came out and they're like singing every song you think fuck I yeah. must be old now. they've listened like, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah, I think you get really? parents like <clears throat> us that pass that down yeah, yeah, I think yeah. particularly Blink 182 and Baggy said it didn't he at, mm. at the show he was like he, he said it's the first gig he's ever been to and I think the first gig I've ever been to where at all points everyone was singing every song yeah yeah. yeah. Like there was a couple like maybe the newer <clears throat> ones or the odd obscure one where a couple of people weren't singing yeah. but there was always a strong sing along of the crowd at yeah. all times yeah. well, well here's a, a bit of a learning curve for me which I didn't quite realise was like so I went to the O2 Arena in London 
And I've never experienced this at a gig before where I'm sitting down with my friend Hayley, we're watching. And then there's this woman next to me in a bowl of popcorn. And in the OT, you can buy sweets and drinks. And I'm like thinking, when the fuck did you go to a gig and have like popcorn? <laughs> Such a different world now. Yeah, yeah. that's but, odd. But isn't I it? did quite enjoy it. I was like, yeah, I can get used to this. I'm older now. Yeah, yeah. I'm not getting down in the pit now. So, but when yeah. you went to Reading, did you go for, was you a day visitor? Uh, yeah, or did, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't do the camping <laughs> anymore. Yeah, yeah, Hotel and day. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Well, when I went to watch Big Day yeah. Two, and we sat down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't that person. It was me yeah. in a popcorn. Yeah. yeah. Well, well yeah. when we went to Blink, and we were all sat in the chairs, aren't we? And we was yeah. like, oh, look at all them people down there. It looks good in the pit, in like around the pit and around the stage. I know. It's got a lovely seat. Yeah, <laughs> lovely yeah. seat. Yeah. All my leggy wegs are well rested. Yeah. I was obviously the balcony, so I was like, well, this is fantastic because I can leave when it's done and get out to the car before the rush you know yeah, God, yeah. what a different that's, world that, that's a different life, yeah, isn't it? Different life like, now. you used to be like where can we go for another pint yeah, oh it's yeah. fucking sick in the pit like yeah. your t-shirt's ripped and just sweat coming down yeah, I don't sweat. care where yeah. we go yeah. 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 you're just yeah. like as long as I'm first out of the car park yeah. Yeah. wait for the set list at the yeah. end of the yeah. 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 as long as I'm beating the rush yeah. Yeah. I keep kidding myself I keep going to festivals I fucking love festivals but at some point I think it was during Covid when we couldn't go to festivals I matured somewhat so uh, before yeah. it was like I could go with me tent, I'll have a beer crate as a pillow, yeah. um, and then we crack on. Four days, lovely job, dirty as fuck, don't care. Yeah. And then all through COVID, I couldn't go to festival. So I was like, I can't wait to go to festival. But I'd not realised that I yeah. changed. And then <laughs> <laughs> when the cream fills a bit, yeah, <laughs> yeah, did the whole same thing with a beer crate pillow, and that hurt my neck, and I was in bed before. You know, one in the morning, every night, and I've been like, get off through a gig and go, I've fucking seen this anyway, I'm going to go get some noodles. (laughs) I Um, I think you, you know you've changed... I think that when when you know you've changed is when you go no I want to get to bed early because there's something I want to get up and see in the morning <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. a bit of that but so I've decided this year to book a five day festival with no day ticket potential um, to do the same thing yeah. because I'll just go a bit more myself. prepared and just do your own thing like, yeah but I'm doing my own thing by the well, same you know, time you know when we go weird. camping and, and we, we we take stuff well, that's yeah. what you need to do <laughs> some yeah. stuff yeah I, I've realised I probably need to go a bit more glamping now like, like under- an pre- airbed notoriously yeah. underprepared for yeah. every festival <laughs> what did you take to yeah. Greenfield someone else's tent loads of beer and quiche <laughs> yeah one time <laughs> that, yeah. that was it, it was at the same great. time we yeah. went it was brilliant you yeah. You brought two friends to stay with us, and I didn't know. And I was—I brought the tent. <coughs> right, yeah. I brought old people. I had two strangers yeah. sleeping in my tent. Yeah. Wow. I was like, "Do you want to with your tent?" They're like, "We ain't got, we ain't got one." And I was like, "Why? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're you're yeah. camping." And they went. Chris said that Chris said we could stop at your house yeah and I was like oh, oh is this uh, right I don't remember but, but it's something like that but I got you get your banana bread though yeah, yeah. Left, I always said bring fucking banana bread man well, you're with the saurine man yeah, the always saurine. with the saurine it's, it's full of lobby here <laughs> oh god <laughs> well, I mean you took it to bug jam you took yeah. two loads Screw just to take throw it off, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice. It's stodgy. It's good for carb, yeah. mate. Long distance. Speaking of festivals, the other thing that the gig I liked yeah. uh, that I think was 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 banging, the tribe. They oh, were no. very yeah. uh, uh, Two, either the tribe or example. Example bust my ankle. <laughs> example was a proper curveball. I was not yeah, expecting that to be good. One of the first festivals you went to, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was waiting for him. It was at the when he was kind of at the height of his career. Yeah, he mm. weren't main stage yet. He was the big tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, so loads of big people there, like Jesse J, yeah. all sorts of people. Oh, wow. He was yeah. he was late, wasn't he? And we was like, there was no one else on. I was like, fuck it. A few of us like a few of his songs. Let's go have a, have a yeah. watch. And he's a bit like upbeat, isn't he? Yeah, and mm. he, he was about 20 <clears> minutes late, and he come out and he just went, I'm sorry, I'm late. I got held up. Let's fucking make it count. Yeah, and he was just apologetic and was like, "Let's just fucking party." Nice. And I've never—that yeah. was one of them few gigs where you just like everywhere's just fucking bouncing. Yeah, even people who didn't know the songs are just like, "This yeah. is fucking." Where was yeah. that? Yeah, a big chill festival. It was oh, very, big chill. It was yeah. very yeah. like Boomtowny, but like it was big I feel, yeah. I feel like he was as well. He, he wasn't like it was like you was partying with him. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't like you was watching him perform. It was like he was like you want to do the job. Yeah, you know a, when you yeah, go yeah. to a house party and you have like the the main characters kind of thing you think they're the people they're the these knobheads yeah, yeah. Um, they're the people that make it like make everybody get up and jump yeah yeah, yeah of it course, felt yeah. it felt like very much like that didn't it oh. <laughs> mm. Tom along then yes oh, yeah. circle. Yeah. big old circle Ooh. that one yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, yeah, bring him in. We can add him to the uh, to the to the old shelf. Ooh. Yeah. Um, we can put him just above Travis there. All we need is a mark, and jobs are good, isn't it? Yeah. Just show, show Tom set. again to the camera for us. There we go. There we go. There he is. Yay. Beautiful. Tom DeLong. Welcome to Utopia. Yeah. Mr. Tom DeLong. I think I've got Thomas that same DeLong. picture, but from about nine mile away on well, the phone. Here's yeah. the thing, right? I was going to bring this one. And here's a funny story for you, right. really. So, well, actual develop, did you take it on your Polaroid? No, it's developed boots, picture. Yeah, boots, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as a kid, when I was about 15, I had like really long curly hair like down here. And I was going through the fair. I was like, oh, I'm going to get a haircut. And uh, I went to the uh, barber shop and said, wow, <laughs> I want you to cut that hair for me, please. Like that. He said, all right. And this was like a barber shop where like every conformist in the world would just walk in and you'd all get like short, you know, sides and back done, right? And basically like, my hair was down here and he cut all my hair off um, like shaved like number two on the sides back and then like a little bit at the front with a little bit flicked up and I went that's not that and he went yeah but it'll grow into it now I went <laughs> I remember like <laughs> wow, yeah. out trauma yeah. now I'm crying it'll my eyes out of the way it. it's like <laughs> it only had grown into it yeah, yeah. it was the like, opposite of that <laughs> yeah I now realise obviously I'll never have hair like that but I was like that is just like the epitome of cool back then that, so that like, is that back in the day yeah. 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 I used to luckily my mum was a hairdresser and I was proper emo phase everything but my hair's real curly yeah 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 um, so I used to blow dry it in the morning that took like an hour then I used to have it straightened properly as well and yeah, sometimes yeah. like different colours in my hair so I could get it how I wanted it just took like two and a half hours to do it yeah. and at one point I was like stop a <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, mate yeah. of mine had really really curly hair and he, try, he tried straightening in a fringe a few times and thought it was cool and yeah. it, honestly it looked like corrugated cardboard yeah, yeah. Just, he, he might as well have just ta- he'd probably done better if he just cut some pieces out and taped them to his head oh, I'm really sorry Jack I did think we were going to talk about that but that's alright yeah there you go <laughs> yeah. I did go for a phase where um I dyed like my fringe blonde. I think yeah. I went to the shop to get it like proper bleach blonde, and I just looked like a twat really. Yeah, yeah for like about twenty, like about three or three years. So yeah, I remember the first time I had oh. my hair bleached. It cost me when well, it cost mum forty quid, oh. and I had the tips of a massive mohawk that I'd grown. Had it, it was half blonde, half black. Yeah. I had frosted tips <clears> once. Frosted tips. Frosted tips. Frosted tips. Fucking it wasn't nice. No, no. it wasn't. It was at the height of the nineties, like. Early I, think, no, I think bringing nineties yeah. back, man. I like no, that. I think it can be brought back tastefully mm. yeah. in some aspects, but that one wasn't. Well, it, it was like, like a buzz cut, out, so yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Um, I, was, I was mainly my walk and that one, Libby yeah. spikes and all that. I was that sort of. I was punk rocker, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, and I, got a job. I eat emos for breakfast, and I grew up. and was <laughs> like, you're all right, actually. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm a proper punk, and then he realised what an overtime rate was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, pounds an hour. Having a coloured fringe when it's straightened. One, I look like a lesbian. But two, if it was curly, all the dye just sat in the front of your hair, like you'd either smash your head against the door or someone just got some paint and just yeah, fucking loved yeah, it. Yeah. So I just sat there like a mess. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. He was like ob- ob- obligated. That's a fucking. Yeah, like a bit to fucking yeah. straighten it, which yeah. is yeah. fucking nice photo, wasn't it? Like the yes. yeah. the, oh, you, you got to get it yeah. as high Pine. as you can. Yeah. Pine, look yeah. down. As you yeah. can, yeah. yeah. Oh, so sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. So song. emotional. There's a song on YouTube, I don't know if you remember it, it's called I'm an Emo Kid. Do you remember that? I'm an Emo yeah. Kid. Yeah. Uh, no good for me, as can be. You've been no good for me too if you look just like me. Yeah, that's it. Great song, right? I know the rest of them. We're going to stop that. Yeah. I remember that one that's, that one's like, I must be emo. That's that song. Is it the same one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Dear right. diary, yeah. mood apathetic. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 that's it, yeah. Call it that, yeah. I, don't, I didn't realise that before. That's a tune. That, I used to yeah. download that on the LimeWire. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. LimeWire, yeah. 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 Fucking LimeWire. Yeah. Did you ever yeah. do that? Era. It's or was, past you, my was it streaming time. already about? Yeah, it was past my time, that was why, really. I was on, uh, I don't really know, I got my dad was a tech wizard. He probably just knew how to use a computer. But <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, if I ever wanted music or anything, he'd download it, he'd download like 10 songs on an MP3 and he'd be He's like, from my fucking loads. Probably, yeah. 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 probably like somewhere you, like that. Yeah. When you was in that era and yeah, everyone had a mate who would burn you a CD yeah, of yeah. like, I want this album, or he's got loads of DVDs just on blank, blank yeah, discs. Yeah. Yeah. He's always. Yeah. I imagine that like like Uris always just got a computer on the floor in the living room, and he's just sat on the floor with thousands of just yeah, yeah. blank and burnt CDs around him. Yeah. Some are DVDs, some are porn, some are CDs. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always remember yeah. not doing music right as a kid. Like, I got a CD player, and I was like, right, 
I didn't know much about music, but I know people were getting into music, so I was getting into music. So I thought it was like a hobby you had to do. You had to sit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you're listening to music, you're listening to music. That's what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Sat there like that, the CD player. On. <laughs> I was like, what up to up? Listening to music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought, yeah. I thought it was a hobby like that. Like it was like I listened to music. I think like, I did a bit of that, but not. But yeah. I bet you knew bands and artists beforehand, didn't you? Because I didn't know. I just knew Gareth Gates was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I still Gareth, got his hair. You do look like a bit like Gareth Gates. <laughs> <laughs> do you model yourself on it? Yeah, I fucking love him. No, I fucking hate him. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, yeah, Don't Gareth Gates. Don't a picture Gates. of Gareth Gates, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a specky gear. <laughs> yeah, he did. I, uh, Gareth Gates, a... I had I think Craig David. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, Justin Timberlake, and that was it. Yeah. There he is. Oh, there there you go. Go. Surrender, sir. <laughs> Gareth Gates. Oh, God. That's him now, isn't it? Yeah. He's the yeah, very yeah. best of Gareth Gates. All one song. Yeah. <laughs> He's not aged well, is he? How big that collar is. It's like trying to be Harry Hill, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got an edgy haircut. Who else did you know? That was it. Will Young. That was it. You was known it. Will Young. There was one song I listened to, a Nickelback song, oh, yeah. um, which I I went on the... Uh, it's just How the, you remind the, me? Um, it might have been. Look at I this on, graph. I went on the, uh, the <laughs> www.spiderman website. <laughs> <laughs> and it was dot com at the end of that. Or dot com. Dot com. Yeah. 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 It was. Yeah. It was literally like it was just as the internet was sort of like a bit around. I was like, oh, fucking up Spider Man. Go on that, and it was just a picture of Spider Man <laughs> <laughs> with Nickelback playing in the back. So I'd always load it up and be like, that's a fucking tune that, oh. and then reload it. It could have been worse. You could have got a meat spin. Oh, hero. Yeah, yeah, Chuck Corey. Yeah, yeah that was Yes. Fabio. How did that go? How did that go? Uh, that look at me. Uh, okay. All look at the guys. Can be your hero, baby. Annoyingly, on my Spotify wrapped up, that was my like, my second most played song this year. Stay true to Spider-Man. <laughs> wow. Right. Should we have a little break? Mm. Yeah, quick break, and then into the oh, it's Thunder Day, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Dom. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah, yeah boy. Utopia Project. Now then, everybody, sorry for stopping the show. We're here to tell you about our special little Patreon. What can we get on the Patreon, Jack? Oh, loads of stuff and things, man. Yeah? All the stuff and things. There's loads of episodes on there. Yeah? Secret, secret episodes. You yeah. can come have a little watch. Yeah, you get early access as well. You can come and be a Utopian. You can be a citizen for... For three pounds a month, you could be a governor for five pounds a month, or you could be an overlord for ten pounds a month, and you get loads of special little things as well. It gets been sent to you in the post, yeah. and we know where you fucking live, mate. First class mail, baby. Yeah. yeah, loads of special things. We get early access on all the episodes. You get a free episode every week, yeah, yeah. and we're doing little bits of specials now. We've done the yeah. pickle kit, haven't we? Done the pickle kit. Yeah, done the special nose gross. waxing. Uh, nose waxing, yeah, yeah. yeah. And piss ups, the, yeah. We? Got the Patreon piss ups where we get real pissed up, yeah. and on it's on goes, the Patreon. Everything goes yeah. really wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then yeah, we've got some other little specials as well on there. So go and check it. There's like, like thirty odd episodes on there already. Yes, it's worth a few quid. A lot of content in it, just for a little bit more of us. Yeah, Do right. And you support the show. It means we can put that money into more things for the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Is there anything more, anything also, you if you subscribe for three quid and there's 30 episodes in there, what's that, like 10p an episode? Yeah. It's Ten the pence. equivalent, really, of buying me and Sharpie a bueno, isn't it? Legit. And you can watch us eat it. Yeah. That'd be fine. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, go sign up to our Patreon, tuppod.com. All the stuff is Do on it. there. Do it. Nonce. Utopia <laughs> <laughs> Project. We're in the Thunderdome! Yeah, For those boy. who haven't watched or listened before in the Thunderdome, I give the boys a category uh, and they bring a person from that field of work and they we put them together in a top trump style battle. In the case of when we have a guest on, the guest gets to decide. Yes. Um, we sometimes give them a job. Um, are we bothering with a job today? Uh, so you. I think under the under we've, the we've category, been a while, we, under so. the category, I think we have someone who's... That is their job. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Who would like to go first? Oh, I'm easy. I'm easy. Right. You decided, who would you like to go first? Uh, go Jack. Yeah? Cool. Okay, so we're doing Best Magician, aren't we? That's upside Ooh. down. And for the record, Ricky, yeah. the one you choose <laughs> gets to come in yeah. and be part of Utopia. The okay. other one gets killed. Is it Ricky Locke or... Uh... 
No, no, oh, no, no okay. you're already in, mate. You're already in. Okay, yeah. right, cool. Thank you. I should, yeah. that, I should think about that for future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Cool. Yes. yes. You, Go you for good it. towel? You for real? Yeah. I just want to start doing yeah. this to someone one day and realize and see how long it takes them to realize that I'm talking about them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do a yeah. weird amount of research. Yeah. 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 This was born on one. the seventh of March, nineteen sixty-four. <laughs> a good My birthday. Time, time has already I'm started. Oh, sorry. Yeah. He was born on the twenty-seventh of February, nineteen seventy-one. He is the son of Bob and Chris. He is an English entertainer, mentalist, although I don't know what that means, uh, illusionist, and writer. He started working as a conjurer, performing at the tradition, uh, performing the traditional skills of close-up magic in bars and restaurants in 1992. He started performing stage shows at the University of Bristol. Since 2004, he has been patron of the Parrot Zoo Trust in Friskney. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realise that till now. Um, That's down the road. He convinced loads of people to do mad shit, such as land a plane, take loads of drugs, believe the world has ended. Robbery, armed robbery, fraud, self inflicted injury, and murder. Ah. Um, so, if you have been involved in any of the aforementioned items, congratulations, you've received some completely free of charge trauma <laughs> from the incredible mind that is Darren Brown. Legend, good choice. choice. Darren Brown. Very good, yes. I realised when I was reading up on all of those things, and I've got notes for because I, I just called them what they were. Like robbery, armed robbery, fraud. Yeah. It's all of his specials that he's done. Yeah, 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 I did yeah. write down what they are, should you want to know. But <laughs> there's some that I'm I didn't familiar, even, there's some that I didn't even realise that he did. Um like the taking loads of drugs, there's a, a he uses the cover of a drug trial to convince various members of the public to overcome their fears using rumi 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 odin, which is an anagram of your mind. Oh. And then in part two, he convinces various people that they're all having supernatural experiences to the point of convincing an atheist they're having a religious experience. Yeah, oh. he's actually given them nothing. But one. yeah, I haven't. There's quite yeah. a few as well. Um, the robbery was co he convinced a load of old age pensioners to steal a painting. <laughs> armed robbery was um, he uses conditioning over a period of two weeks to influence four members of the public to willingly choose to commit what yeah. they perceive to be an actual armed robbery of a security van I've seen that one that's yeah, mad that was um, yeah. fraud was where he convinces various members of the public to that he has a foolproof system for choosing the winner of horse races and yeah. persuades them to bet increasingly large sums of money to the point convincing one of them to part with their entire life savings um, and it's like a it's a confidence trick where it basically just gets you to bet all your money on shit mm, yeah. self-inflicted injury which is another one I didn't know about um, a member of the public who was given a faked medical experiment and told it will increase his bravery and empathy before being forced to decide whether we would take a bullet for a stranger oh that oh, yeah, that, yeah that was yeah. intense that and one. then murder is yeah. the push one yeah which I did see, I did watch that yeah. one and that was fucking mad. Yeah. Yeah. I did like yeah. at the end when he shows you all the people who didn't do it. Yeah. 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 No, sorry, he shows you the one who did, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, who didn't, and then he shows you all the people who did. Yeah. 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 And there's I'd loads more to people see who did. I'd love to see his show. Oh, I'm scared. My dad yeah. saw him live and he said, he was like, I can't remember any of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said it was weird. He was like, he said, he'd come out. He said, you know you've had a good time, but you've no idea what happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thoughts? Yeah. Uh, so I absolutely loved that. <laughs> I think it's absolutely incredible. So. Uh, as a member of the Magic Circle get to see him um, mm -hmm. he pops down every now and then for like his book signing and obviously goes to Blackpool quite a lot that's right. why we have the big Magic convention every year um, absolutely love him I think he's great yeah um, be interesting to see you've got Sharpie yeah. but um, mm. yeah I do love him yeah. um, just quickly Magic yeah. Circle uh, yeah. what, what I got on with that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's true, yeah, yeah. Maybe you should be an honorary member, actually. Yeah, do, yeah. We, uh, yeah. do, you get, do you have like a secret handshake? What's yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. So we're all inducted. Uh, we've got like tattoos on our back, and it's like a secret handshake, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so the magic circle. I don't yeah. know if that's yeah. a joke. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, yeah. I believed yeah. you for a second. Yeah. Misdirection. Yeah. 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 Or as you like to call us, muggles. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, so yeah. Um, <laughs> international members come from all over, and there's um, there's thousands of members across all over the world. But to be a member of the Magic Circle, you have to do a an interview, uh, and it's because of the the logo of the Magic Circle. It's to uh, not reveal secrets. 
So the whole idea of it is that you uh, have to do the interview and then you have to do a audition. You have to do an eight to 12 minute routine in front of 30 magicians. It can be smaller or large numbers, but it's one of the scariest things in the world because they know exactly what you're doing. They know every word you're going to say, and it's really scary. It's like doing, yeah, like, I don't know, doing some mechanic work or anything yeah. like that. Do they artistry. play along or do they try and catch you out? Um, so sometimes they do. Sometimes they're, like, watching you intensely because they, they have to mark you as well. Right. Like a lot of the magicians who will come join you, they, they kind of act as if, like, they're like a muggle. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, um, but you'll see loads of cool stuff there. So they've got Dynamo shoes in the wow. museum, uh, lots of Paul Daniels stuff, sooty and all that, so... Yeah, it's like a, a wonderful, wonderful. There are, yeah, yeah. like a, a manager. Oh, what's that? Like, like, is there like a manager or like a head? Head bloke. <laughs> manager. Yes, yeah, manager. <laughs> <laughs> manager. Deputy manager. Uh, what Rick is what like? do you do for a living then, Colin? I'm a magic <laughs> circle <laughs> manager. Chairman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Gandalf. Who's like the main, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the main bloke? Is it Penn and Tallow and all that? So, so they have a president. Yeah, oh, okay. so they have a president of the magic circle and then you get like a vice president and then you get council members and stuff like that. Does that so change? Or oh, so that you do yeah. have like rankings and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, so it's yeah. a proper uh, massive organisation. You've got member of the magic circle. You've got member of the inner magic circle. And then obviously you've got vice president and uh, president as well. So yeah, yeah wow. huge. The president like the yeah. dead body of Houdini. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Uh, so have you heard of Marvin's magic? You know the magic sets. Yes. Marvin yes. Burglar, yes. So uh, he's just become president. Yeah. So wow. Do, you, yeah. do, you, do they do terms then? Um, so yeah, it's like every uh, two years or so that they start okay. to change out routine. Yeah. So. Do you have to like be voted in, or is that? A... Yeah, it's all through like council and all like that. Yeah. So that's yeah. mad. Do you have to like, you have to, like pay to be a member of this then, or do, uh, yeah, yeah, do you? Yeah. But you obviously you have to apply and you can be rejected and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, so of course, you, do, so yeah. you obviously have to be very very good at what you do then. Yes, yeah, so you have to pass the the interview and yeah. you have to pass the um, the actual practical. And obviously um, they, they want to make sure that you're not just some. Just some blokes trying to reveal the secrets of the yeah, yeah. world, uh, and then well, that's the point, isn't it? There, there needs to be the magic behind it. Like. Yeah, and then obviously you can then obviously have the the logo, have the badge, and then say that you remember the magic circle, so you can tell people. So but it's quite interesting because it's um, it's obviously a very big thing. Um, but nowadays it, it's kind of too country where a lot of people are aware of the magic circle, and a lot of people aren't aware. So, but sometimes like if I'm performing, people go, "Oh, you remember that circle?" Oh. And that's kind of like the just Ooh, the it was a real deal out. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people I don't think really know what it is or what happens, but when they hear it, they go, "Oh, okay, oh, it must Did be." Did it used right. to yeah. be considered yeah. uh, like a secretive yeah. thing then? Was yeah, it? it was. I think it was. Um, it's definitely like really improving over the, the like the last like ten years or so as we're becoming a modern kind yeah, of society yeah, yeah. now. But it was very much a secretive thing where um, you have to be invited think, type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot of people kind of knew about it, um, but. It's a wonderful thing, yeah. Anyone can go down and uh, go watch the shows. It's good. Who created it? You know. Ah, so this is going to like challenge my knowledge now, isn't it? Um, so it's challenge. It was created by a group of uh, magicians, male magicians, back in London, about a hundred and some years ago now. Taz has just pulled it. Yeah. 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 There, you go. Bang. there you go. That's That's yeah, fine. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-three magicians. Just read yeah. that and pretend you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's the. Um, so that picture there is the staircase. So it's a really cool, wonderful, beautiful staircase at the Magic Circle when you get there. But yeah. And yeah, as you can see, King Charles is part of it as well. Is he actually? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's crazy. Oh. Yeah. Is it like, like yeah, really sacrifices are right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, can we oh, say oh, He said no, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've tripped up now. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask the question so you don't have to. What? Are the buffets all right? Uh, the buffet? Oh, the buffet, yeah, yeah. they call spread. Good? Well, I don't know, actually. I don't think I've ever been when they've done a buffet. Well, what's yeah. the point? Yeah. What's that's the point, yeah, Ricky? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure, I'm getting interested. <laughs> if it's no snacks, he's not bothered. <laughs> so, yeah. They do have a, a little bar area, so you get drinks and crisps and stuff like that, I think. Yeah. Do you yeah. get, like, yeah. a little file of facts with all <laughs> The, like the magician's numbers in it. No, it's online database though. You could obviously you can just like bring up any of them. So right. if they if they put their details on there, you can have a look and search for them. So you yeah. could literally just ring up like Penn and Teller tomorrow. Uh, I think there's certain uh, people that don't disclose stuff. Yeah, but um, Penn and Teller, fame, yeah, not in that. Um, but yeah, yeah. Can you ring Darren Brown and just ask him if he can just come down and just tell us he's been on the show? No, I don't think I can. He doesn't, no, need, to, he doesn't yeah. need to do it. He Maybe can just come in and be like, I've done it. And we'll be like, oh, good, great. Thanks, Darren. Yeah, it's a Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Darren. 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 Come do that mind thing. <laughs> Dazza. Yeah. Yeah. Dazza B. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's a mad thing. Yeah, that is mad. Yeah. I love that. You ready for yeah. your one? Yeah, go on then. 
Yeah. Oh, we've got a good player bloke. We've got a minute and a half. Time starts now. <laughs> this illustrious magician is known as an endurance artist, otherwise known as the extreme sport of waiting. <laughs> he has waited in many places that one may not wish to wait. He is also known for his amazing talent of regurgitating small amounts of water and small objects, also known as being sick. <laughs> <laughs> places he has waited. He has waited fully inside water for a bit. <laughs> he has waited underground, underwater, in a plastic box, also known as a coffin, for a bit. <laughs> He's waited in a plastic box above the ground for a bit. <laughs> He's waited spinning around on some mad gyroscope <coughs> thing for a bit. And he has waited upside down for fucking ages <laughs> for a bit. <laughs> but the biggest magic weight is, of course, the weight to be brought onto the Utopia Project podcast for a bit <laughs> is Mr. David Blaine, oh, everybody. Yes. Yeah. He's the guy with the eye on the hand, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Shazam. Yeah. Okay, Shazam. He does stuff like he just waits about in like yeah. a box. Is that what he's doing? Just waiting in the box. He always yeah, weirded me yeah, out a bit yeah. when he used to watch his shows. Like on telly and that. He, he, he looks a bit, a little he sketchy. He used to just be like, Bleh, and then yeah. walk off. And you're mm. like, come, come back. Yeah. yeah. There was a, that was an old, uh, it reminded me of an old, a YouTube skit where someone used to pretend they were David Blaine if you ever saw it it was like always oh, two guys and he'd like just do the most weirdest stuff you remember it He's, yeah it was crazy there's like four or five episodes yeah David Blaine is, is fantastic like uh, both this is a tough one really because both of them have done so much for the magic world and obviously for people as well because obviously when you think of magic a lot of people go oh yeah Dynamo Darren Brown David Blaine that's like kind of like the top yeah, ones yeah yeah um, um Dave's awesome. I, I think his style, for me, is like a little bit too intense for me. Do you reckon yeah, that's like yeah. a, a character he's put on, or do you reckon he's just ragged? I think, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Call him A, call him B, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think, like, in his early years, he was he was proper on it. I think he's uh, relaxed a little bit more now yeah, in yeah. his form. But, yeah, it was definitely a character that he was. And I think he inspired so many people to go do street magic. Because mm. street magic wasn't a thing. And he yeah. was just going out there, you know, pick a card and like what okay. it's like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, America's quite an interesting thing though so Americans tend to re react really cool and like mm. really like oh my god in yeah, the UK we're quite reserved like sometimes I've been to weddings where I've done a trip they're like alright cool <laughs> fucking hell like, <laughs> like, you don't see that yeah, one. Yeah, like it's took 15 years I'll rebirth it's Jesus. a fucking jumbo yeah. jet yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, like, seen that in yeah. <laughs> yeah I think like just there's a British culture as well like because of like Tommy Cooper Paul Daniels like you go to a lot of weddings and events and people are like um, are you going to saw my wife in half no I'm not going to do that okay <laughs> no, I'm just going to shag her because you're clearly I'm just to spite you you prick <laughs> yeah, yeah. so enough. there's a massive like culture in the UK of like magicians because of uh, what they've seen on telly are like you know just like that you know it's like yeah and that's massively changed but like a lot of adults and parents and stuff older people just have that belief there's a little bit more slapstick back in yeah, the day yeah think, yeah so it's, it's you know Dynamo Darren Brown and uh, Dave Blaine really brought into a modern age you know because magicians were in the past like Paul Daniels were long suits tails whereas Darren Brown and you know um Dave Blaine would be like black t-shirt, jeans, so a bit more informal and cool. Yeah. I remember when I was like starting out on my YouTube channel, like I used to go out, denim jacket, you know, t-shirt and just do magic, like stop people in the street. So it's weird now, like I'm old, I'm like, I probably won't do that, like too cold. You know, I don't yeah, want to yeah, yeah. 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 As long as yeah. there's a nice chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. magic chair. Yeah, good, but yeah, good choice. Yeah, good choice. What about yeah. you? What about you, <laughs> Tal? You haven't really spoken seen? today. So, what's your Hello. thoughts? Hello. Mm. Well, my thoughts on what? We're just what we're just trying to give on the yeah. two. Yeah. I mean, for me, I, I get confused between the two a lot of the time. Darren <laughs> 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 Brown and yeah, they, they are very like, similar. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I, I, the faces I know are they're just different enough for me to remember them. But <laughs> they're very <laughs> different, Tom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I. I I, I probably think I've seen more of Darren Brown, but I do remember David Blaine being more prominent, like yeah, yeah, 10, yeah. 15 years ago. Yeah, I think, like you said, though, he's he's brought like street magic into it, mm. but it was never Darren, a thing before. Darren him, Brown's was it? never really done like that little bit more traditional magic like David did. Yeah, 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 yeah. he did a lot more card stuff and you know, just like that sort of stuff like mm. that in it. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, Although yeah. I, I mean, my vote would go for. for yeah, I mean, for Darren, my, really. my, my yeah. probably Darren Brown is. is yeah, I do think he's. I do think like, two things. One, 
I like what you said about like with the Americans and the British reaction. That is very very stereotypically yeah. American and British, though, isn't it? Yeah. The Americans are like, oh shit, man, magic's yeah. fucking real, yeah, and then yeah. British are like. Yeah, fuck off, dickhead. And again, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, like, my boss at work does a couple of magic tricks, and he showed us one, and I lost my shit. I threw the chair across the fucking store, started smashing <laughs> place up. It was the best thing I've seen in my life. And then he taught me how to do one of these tricks, and I put it in the group chat. I was like, look, I've done magic, and you guys didn't even give a fuck about magic. <laughs> I did the card. Yeah. I changed the card into another card. You were like, that's how you done it. And I'm like, no, just say it's sick, man. It looked fucking I mental. find it's really mad. When you do learn to do a trick, though, even you're like... <gasps> Yeah, they like yeah. magic. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. the problem you have, Sharpie, bless you, is you still have that like naivety of a toddler where like <laughs> I can show you things and you're like, oh, that's the first time ever I've seen that. Whereas like a Sharpie, know, Sharpie, not... do my thumb, yeah. <laughs> Go take it off. Oh, yeah, I do that all the yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, take my hand. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> well, yeah, but like, I don't know. It, uh, I couldn't work it out. And then he told yeah. me how he did it, and I was like, "That's so that's simple, but yeah, it, like, yeah. so simple." Yeah. And he just did it, and I was like, "It's changed it before my eyes, man. It's the best thing I've seen since yeah. Slice Magic." <laughs> <laughs> Do you think like yeah. when when yeah. people want to know how it's done? Obviously, the point is to not tell them. I never want to know yeah. how it's done, yeah. regardless of how much they pester you. I, I, yeah. Would you agree in the sense of that because that's like excuse the pun but like that's the magic of it because then people yeah, will yeah. forever be like I've no idea how he did it mm. yeah, even though so, they know it yeah. ultimately it's just a trick isn't it like yeah so the magic is um, is the the feeling you experience when something's happening yeah because it's like a lot of people want to see the trick again but we tend not to repeat the same trick because you know if I was to repeat the same trick you might look for something different might experience something different that first feeling of going no, what the hell and it's yeah. just to disrupt you from everything so magic's great for like you know we're all busy right life's tough right we've got mortgages got kids got all sorts right so it's just to take you away from that moment and give you such yeah, a yeah. wonderful feeling of like Phenomenal, of wonder yeah. or transport us back to being kids again yeah yeah it's such that's a great you thing. sharp isn't it yeah, yeah. that's yeah. The, like you just a big kid I fucking yeah. love it yeah man. I love it yeah. I love magic I never know, know know how the trick's done it's just I just want to see yeah. magic yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm magic. grateful that like YouTube <laughs> exists and there's yeah, people yeah. out there that do reveal it because I'm like I'm a puzzle man and yeah knowing the answer to the puzzle suits me the more the opposite like, yeah. I, yeah. I, I yeah. want to be shocked by it and then explain yeah. it yeah. And, then, uh, and that's like another level for me of going Oh yeah. yeah, shit, that's yeah, how yeah, And yeah. then I'm involved in like, yeah. nah, how you're tricked. Well, it's like yeah, yeah. if I was doing a magical learning one, I think I would. But if it was like a magic trick where like it's just some crazy shit, I'm like, I don't tell me how to do that because that is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, is there um, any magic tricks that have been performed by a magician where nobody knows? Yeah, there's uh, there's quite a lot of um, <clears throat> well in the magics circle like we we're quite aware of a lot of stuff and but there's still mm. even things that i don't know you know and there's things that i don't want to know because i think it kind of would ruin the illusion of it yeah because yeah, yeah. like you said some things are quite simple but you still like want that feeling as well don't you yeah exactly because yeah. like you don't want it to become like because a lot of stuff i do like is repetitive you know so you kind of do lose a little bit when you keep forming the same tricks at weddings and events and stuff so you're constantly looking for new ways to make it better and stuff but i think um yeah, it, there's there's a couple of things I think that people don't know. Yeah, mm. a lot of secrecy. Darren Brown stuff is, um, you know, highly secretive as well. So there's a big team that he works with, but um, you know, and it's like, oh, I don't think I want to know as well. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it ruins really something. There was yeah. a guy on the Darren Brown team that he was part of a show, and then pestered him that much and was like, "Let me work for you because I need to know how this happens, how this works." And now he works with Darren Brown. Oh, there's yeah. one, one yeah, thing it's, it's where they're in, he's in like they're in like a curtain box and it gets them to do a load of weird shit in this curtain box yeah right um, and he was in it and he was and he st didn't know why it happened and he ended up working for Darren Brown and he still works as part of his team he was just like I'm not going to rest until you tell me how it's done and let me work for you because yeah. I cannot live the rest of my life having experienced that and not yeah and not uh, there's one, one thing I found when I was researching him was he was basically saying I assume that's the kind of illusionist part of it is he t he often one of his big things is often telling people the wrong way of how he does it 
but the wrong way he tells you makes sense, so you just accept that. Do you mean when he's oh, like, oh, no, right. Right. when he's explaining yeah. how he does it, isn't how he does it? That's so it's like, mad. yeah, yeah it's then kind of like So yeah. he's still got the yeah. secret. But you think you know how it works. Like when he's saying, oh, well, I suggest this and this and this, this and that's why this happened. Yeah. Fucking bastard. <laughs> I'm mad so now. a lot of the things you probably know about Darren Brown aren't that what you know about, about Darren Brown. Is, that was on like a documentary about him. You're asking me if it's true now. <laughs> that, that, your eyes look like that's a question. I don't I feel, know. I feel a fool. <laughs> so I can tell you, but I get kicked out of the magic circle, so I can't really say anything. Oh. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. We won't tell no one. No, I can't tell you. Yeah, yeah we're not. Ignore this. We're not even a live podcast. My <laughs> <laughs> <Like> magic. <laughs> we need to crown a winner. There you go. Who would you like to vote for? Well, I think um, probably as well because of the British side of it as well. I think it's got to be Darren Brown. Yeah. Got to be the winner. Yeah. yeah. I'd agree Dave's with great. that. But Have yeah, you ever Darren. met him? <laughs> hey, David Blaine or Darren? Darren Blaine. So um, I've been very close to Darren, uh, very close to him in the same um, room, but not like. Yeah. yeah. Not <laughs> the, the, what, sorry, the way you said that while was he was pro- sleeping. Yeah, yeah. It was probably, like, I was close enough. <laughs> yes. I was close enough to smell him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're in the toilets together. Darren's yeah, in the so room. Smell yeah. the psychology off of it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, like Blackpool Convention in February every year. Obviously, magicians from all over the world meet. So Penn and Teller have been there. Um, loads of famous magicians so yeah it's crazy yeah that's cool man nice so cool. Darren Darren Brown you so wow. let's, he's in sorry David into get the back, volcano go back, go. get back in your box for a bit he's good at <laughs> waiting anyway he's, he's just waiting at the bottom yeah. of the volcano yeah, Come yeah, yeah but his magic right. trick he'll be like out the volcono <laughs> 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 but he'll do it yeah. trying to get rid of you <laughs> there's now a live stream of David Blaine in a volcano <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. not surviving no not doing it nope probably sick up lava or something yeah that's one of his tricks welcome to Utopia Darren Brown marvellous mad sick one of them as well. phenomenal. There we go. All right, shall we head back to the uh, the peeves room? Yeah. For yeah. the end of the show. Yeah. Lovely That's place to be, lovely. isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? I like it. You enjoyed yourself, Jack? Love it. Blown your mind, doesn't it? Magic as fuck, man. Yeah. It's weird as well, because after Baggy's wedding, I didn't trust a fucking word you said. <laughs> 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 Nothing that could come out of your mouth. Whereas now I'm like, isn't is a normal person? No, but after yeah. you've what you've told me about Darren Brown now, oh, there you no go. No way. This could, oh question. Yeah. What's a mentalist? What is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's sharp yeah. on a bad day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so a mentalist is, is very similar to like a mind reader to experience it. So a mentalist would be like using psychology techniques and stuff like that to do like kind of mind reading esque things. Right. So it's very similar to it. Yeah. So like some like say like with Darren Brown what he does when he's like likelihood is you're gonna choose six or something like that so yeah. I'll be like you've chosen six yeah you, yeah you watched the Robin Ramesh magician episode didn't you yeah yes yeah. yeah Rob's doing the mentalist stuff where he's like you you were thinking of Star Wars yeah oh when yeah, you like yeah. push stuff on people yeah it's a yeah, similar yeah. thing yeah yeah there's a good show by the way called The Mentalist as well yeah which was all um, where a mentalist magician mind reader was used for the police right so I've, great, oh, yeah. I've seen it's it it's good yeah. yeah to help with crime and murder it's very good yeah mad thing yeah uh, yeah um, I, but yeah um, I'm ju- I can just about trust you now thank you thank you nearly nearly you enjoyed yourself Sharpie fucking love magic mate you're sick thanks mate thank yeah. you <laughs> So. Fucking love it, honestly. Do you, to, do you want to just take a moment to plug yourself, tell everybody where well, they can find you and whatnot? You, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, so Ricky, uh, you can find me on uh, Ricky Lot Magic on most channels. So on YouTube, Instagram, uh, yeah, come say hello. Marvelous. You got out coming up? Um, so I got a new podcast coming out, which is talk about similar stuff like this, really. Yeah. Um, so that's called Unlocked. It's coming soon. So check that out. Yeah, glory. I did really glorious. like the play on words with that. Yeah, I see when you was originally putting up, and you was like, "What can we call it?" Yeah, and then when it came out, I was like, "Fuck, that's like- sick." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> good. Yeah. 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 Like, like, oh, I style. love a play on words. Yeah. yeah, it's brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of playing, yeah, you said about doing something for I did, us. Yes, yeah, yeah, cool. Would you like to see something fun? Go on, let's, yeah, let's yeah. finish oh, it off oh, with something. Oh, fun. I always get scared. <laughs> oh, <all> right, cool. <laughs> I'm very scared. nervous, but go on. It's gonna be like this is the inside of your brain. <laughs> <laughs> so, Fuck out me now. This thing. So we we kind of talked about this a little bit on the show this morning. Uh, this afternoon, this morning, this afternoon, <laughs> right? Um, it's been a long record. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we also. Um, 
we also kind of talk about it on the breaks. So I don't know if you'd like to say what usually happens on the breaks, but what I thought we could do is try and test out the theory of Einstein's theory of relativity. So I don't know if you can explain it in about... Physics. Um, yeah, I don't know if yes. you can explain it in about 30 or 40 seconds. Uh, energy is mass... Yeah, that's e equals good, yeah. MC squared. Yeah, so that's right. Squared. E equals yeah. MC squared. Yeah. yeah. So basically, the, the way we explain it in the Compton Club is like we talk about like on stage or be like recording a like a two hour podcast and it feels like two minutes. You know, like when you're just in flow state, like it just feels like you're having fun. Or the opposite side to that, if it's not happening, it'd be like when a two hour podcast feels like four hours. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so basically, I want to try and measure your time to see if you've got a good. Um, you know a good aspect of time so here's how it works right it's very simple so for the camera uh, we've got a little stopwatch here so yep. just to make sure that this works and we're not cheating here at all um, I'm going to press start yep. okay when you get the urge to just shout stop just shout stop that's it right so you can do this whenever you like don't feel influenced by me completely up to you stop when you're ready. okay cool perfect there you go oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah, oh yes. did he want you to do that though oh, dude. Oh, 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 <laughs> so maybe, yeah, maybe go back and rewatch it. Go, did he do it? Okay, but anyway, right. Are you happy with that? Yes, cool. Yeah. So here's the thing: we're going to reset, and this time we'll do it. We'll go around the table. So um, we'll press start, and we'll do a couple of laps here. So whenever you get the urge, Jack, completely up to you. You can pause. You can stop. Whenever you're ready, just say now. Yeah. And that's when we're going to lap it. Okay. So. Okay. I'm also slightly worried I'm going to be hypnotising <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to wake up and it's Wednesday yeah. now <laughs> now cool perfect. okay that's pretty good okay yeah. so we're on two laps already now. so oh now already yeah, yeah, okay, now. That's quick. okay. Uh, so we're going to do oh, no. three so we'll do one more it's so like, that was a sharpie trap. whenever you like alright now okay perfect cool perfect so that's four laps right so we've got four laps we've all chosen that each so now we're going to stop Jack we'll come back to you actually yeah. that, we'll just get you involved as well right There's, the clock's ticking whenever you want the urge to stop, I will shout, well, whatever you like, really, I'll press stop, whenever you like. One eternity later. <laughs> now, now, perfect. okay. So, 52 seconds and 24, so for the camera, okay? You can see that as well, Tao, yeah? 52 seconds and 24 milliseconds, yes? Cool. Now, here's the interesting thing. This is about us testing uh, the theory of relativity, right? See if we can, like, inflow in that. Um, I don't know how long we've been here, I mean, past 10 now so a couple of hours yeah, right? I've had yeah, some fun yeah, right yeah. so here's the thing there's no way I would have known that you would have stopped at like 52 seconds 24 oh, just to clarify fuck this <laughs> shit <laughs> to clarify, we did not pre-arrange this right we didn't no. secretly like I know I text you earlier on but I didn't secretly like say to you when I do this trick please stop at these exact moments in time uh, and I'll slip you a five pound note right did you get the five pound correct oh, for, for, for reference <laughs> yeah <laughs> we until about 10 minutes ago we didn't even know we was going to do this okay perfect, cool. we just said do what yeah, we want right, yeah cool so here's the thing right so um i made a prediction for everybody my right? heart's beating out my yeah. chest <laughs> <laughs> i might <have> done. <laughs> now i made a prediction and this prediction has been sitting here the very for, for a while now uh, you might have known that i brought something in a prop which i brought tom delong right and sharpie's in front of you right yeah sharpie it's a photo frame so i'd like you to Take no. the photo frame and undo Fuck the photo off, frame. Man. Take what? Do what? Yeah, so uh, turn it around. No. This is illegal. In, on the other side, right. there's if you undo that one. You've seen a photo frame. Panel, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> did you just say, I don't want did it. You say this is illegal? Okay. And there's a little card there. So, Sharp, if you take the card, and you'll see that I've made a prediction. Now, here's the cool thing, right? I want to do something really special, so we stopped on 52 seconds 24. Now, it would be okay, really cool... The tough. You, you tell us, can tell really us cool. producing it, he's enthralled <laughs> by what's going on. It'd be really cool if I could have predicted exactly 52 seconds 24. That would have been pretty cool, right? Yeah. But I wanted to do something really special for you. That would have been okay. But what I really wanted to do was do something even better. I wanted to predict every single millisecond of every lap that we would stop on. So we went round and we all said stop whenever we wanted, right? And that was your free choice. Yeah. So Can I, I pause you for one second? Of course, yeah, yeah. Do not flip this table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm fucking I know you leaving. Want, I know you want to. <laughs> I know you want to. We can't, we can't deal with the damage. Okay, yeah, it's cool. Go yeah. somewhere else. So here's the thing. So I wanted to not just predict the time, 50 to 24. I wanted to do something even better. I wanted to predict the exact millisecond of every single lap. Okay, I have four laps. Okay, so I'll probably do this for Jack. If you take that, right? You can take the phone, yeah. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, Sharpie. Yeah, you yeah. can do the reveal in a second, right? But I've got four laps here. So lap four. What is the last two digits of that millisecond? Can uh, you see that? Oh four. Oh four. Okay. Is it lap four or lap uh, one? Uh, so, sorry, lap four. Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. So 
Shabby, you see, if you turn the card over, and you can cover up the rest of them if you like, but what yeah, is exactly. the... Perfect. It's fucking... Oh. 24, okay, so that's <laughs> okay. That's one out of four. So that's a, maybe it's a slim chance, one out of four, right? What no, it is isn't, the last Ricky. Two You're magic. <laughs> <laughs> so lap three, what is the last two do? Uh, so 20. 20. Oh. Turn down. So it's 20, okay. Yeah. Lap two, what's the last uh, two do? Oh, one. Oh, one. Have a look at that one. Is it lap... Okay, I won. And last not least, if it's we get four like, out of yeah, four, yeah, of here's yeah. the deal, right? That's pretty wild. We'll all go wild. We'll go standing ovation. We won't flip up the tail because we don't want to do that, right? Yeah. What is the last two digits? Oh, four. Yeah, of course it fucks. It tells that. It tells that. Cool. cool. Now, here's the thing. Look, I'll tell you something. Later. So, obviously, this has been sitting with you, right, the yeah, whole time, yeah. right? So, look. Um, so, lap four was 24. Lap three was 20. Lap two was 0194. Here's the weirdest thing. This was about us creating a wonderful moment, right? Magical experiences, right? We talk about magic is the feeling that you experience right I wanted to make this a special thing because I've been dead excited to be here today and thank you for inviting me on here right but uh, this was such a special thing now you stopped on all of those choices yourself there's no way I could have known this right and you felt the urge you stopped when you wanted right but the weirdest thing I'm is if we look sick. at this from the other <laughs> way around you'll see if we looked at lap one you'll see we have four lap two is one lap three is 20 24 which is in oh, fact fuck off. the fourth of January 2024 which is the day we got to share a wonderful experience on the Utopia podcast yes okay. yeah. get out <laughs> Just, no I'm fucked is this how, real life how you done that yeah <laughs> <laughs> are you, you happy go. now oh, are you happy now my brain's fell out <laughs> 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 Can't take this. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal work. Thank you. You should sure do it as a career. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Should do that. Thank you. That yeah. is absolutely amazing. Do you know what I hate the most about this? All of that. No. That's it's not even this. It's my best day. It's the fact that he's sat there going, easy, mate. Yeah. <laughs> easy. Yeah. I know, it's done. Piece of piece. He had to check with him. He knew. But more to the point, more to the point, because he knows how it's done, he's like, you're all idiots. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be sick. You, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I am going to be sick. I think I've pooed. <laughs> Did he make you do that? Did he make you do that? I know, I know my body yeah. don't feel right now. <laughs> How did that happen? Yeah. I'm still I'm wearing my clothes right. I'm still... <laughs> he's got a nickname. I think so, yeah. but he may have pickpocketed my fucking eyes. Yeah. I don't he, know. He might have hit, yeah, he might have hypnotised us and we just don't know. We, we're actually in an empty yeah. studio, no longer recording. Yeah, we look back on the edit. Yeah, like, <laughs> just looks like he's just drooling. Just sat there drifting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my evenings. It's just a fever nice. dream. Fucking, oh, well, fucking thank you so much. Thank you so it's much. Been, yeah, it's amazing. An absolute pleasure. It's been Thanks, an honour. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah, if awesome you want to find work. him, he's there. Yeah. It'll or be this on thing. The, uh, there you go. Yeah. Have a go on that. Yeah. That's crazy. That's that man there, and he's an absolute blower of minds. Yeah. Thank final you. thoughts, yeah. Jack? I've, I don't know. Have I got any final thoughts, Ricky? <laughs> You're in there. Uh, uh, that was a serious question, I think. Well, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll do this. I don't know this point. Blamange? Probably. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Always, You're a wizard. It's always Blamange. It's always Blamange. I don't know. Every time you say, have you got any final thoughts? I Blamange. <laughs> <laughs> Every single time. Uh, Sharp, any final thoughts, mate? Fucking. Oh. words? 12. <laughs> 12. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck it, that's sick, that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. that's good. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and all that jazz. It's been lovely. We ain't got any announcements, have we? Oh, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> no. No. I'm off to bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've been talking to... Uh, uh, sorry, I'll do it properly. Yes. It's been a while since we've got a guest on. That's been Ricky Lock. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. I've been Juggy T. Thank you very much for coming along. I've been Jack Magic. We'll see you on the flip side. I've been fucking flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> see you next episode. <laughs> and this has been the Utopia Project. Goodbye. Fucking yes. That was fucking insane. That's, I don't uh, like you again. Uh, Sorry, Jack. Well, don't <laughs> Utopia. Please make yourself at home. It's the only place on earth where you can bitch and moan There's something here for everyone to make you feel quite great Just as long as we've already let it through our gates This is our dreamland, this is Utopia Yet another little podcast for you This is our dreamland, this is Utopia